Hello, Greg. This is part one. So, last Hi, time Greg. we decided to head to uh, the city of Githyari. Um, we went halfway there, uh, and that's when uh, something weird happened to Varum. We found a new party member. Uh, I'm sorry, we found a little boy in a dungeon who freed uh, the party from a trap. Uh, you guys went through the dungeon solving the puzzles getting to the end figuring out what what and where you guys are um and then you finally arrived at the end pressed your hands against the uh stone and then suddenly everyone disappeared so we are starting now at the beginning of uh the end of last session so varum uh, actually, who was yes. first to touch the stone, actually? Out of you three. I don't remember. I think it was Ocean, and then Arzor went after Ocean, right? I think so. All right, so Arzor, as you touch the stone, um, everyone watches as uh, you just explode into this blue dust. And Arzor, in front of you, it turns black for a second, and you're back at the campsite. Hmm. Um... Uh, Everyone else goes again. Kel, you are back at the uh, oh. at the camp. Yes. you are back at the campsite. Yo, guys. Starfoam is with you guys. What's up? Huh. Neat. Hey, kid. Did the child come with us? Yeah, he's with you, actually. Yeah, he teleported. Neato. Uh... He's now in our group. I'm just going to look at Arza and say, Hey, make sure this person does not explode. Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. I'm going to look at Kel. Uh, make sure Arza doesn't explode. Oh, you're muted, by the way. I think <laughs> Kel is dead. Kel is dead. All right, so... What do you guys want to do? It's pretty much the middle of the night. You guys are back at the campsite, uh, able to relax a bit. Give me a moment. Uh, let's see. I want to look for rocks. That's it. I want to start a rock collection. All right. Anything else you guys want to do? We could short rest or long rest. Hmm. Hmm. You guys are, I'm pretty sure you guys are pretty weak right now, right? I don't know. Uh, I have... I am missing uh, about, if I do the math correct, 5 HP. I could go for a long rest. I have no idea, but it's like midnight. I also don't have action surge. I kind of want that. So... If we do a long rest, uh, fucking, this will become problematic. Hmm, hmm. How about, uh, Varum takes a short rest, everyone takes a short rest, and then everyone takes a long rest while Varum is driving the cart. I mean, it's the middle of the night. If you want to sleep in eight hours, it's possible. Hmm. Yes. So... Are we sleeping in the cart ocean. or sitting so ocean's at camp? fingertips are have gone. While I travel, don't worry, the cart cannot explode. So you sound confident enough, so I'll believe it. So, ocean's fingertips are gone. Um, what's left is black stubs. Um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I should travel yeah. while. Uh, his lips you know. are found as well, as well as Ooh. his nose. That's bad. So, and his skin bad. is slowly turning gray. Um, he coughs into his hand and then just faints, falls over, like, asleep. That looks pretty bad, dude. Dude, get some rest. Also, uh... DM, remember the whole entire uh, spoken word uh, thing? Yep, I remember. Okay. I've been down. Can't wait for that to become worse uh, timing when I call uh, Ocean a fanboy. 
Oh, <laughs> uh. well, let us get on our way, as one would say. And I prep in the cart for travel. All right. So, um, as you all uh, are starting to move out to get Yari, let me pull up the map and I'll show you guys how far you've gotten. Hmm, okay. If uh, I see a rock along the way, I want to pick it up. Can I get? Can I see who's getting doing the checks? Oh yeah, sorry. Um, I should say before you leave, you, know, this, uh, you all notice that uh, Jeremiah is gone. Wait, hold Wait. on. Where is Jeremiah? This is bad. No, so, that guy did incite the orcs to raid, and is Jeremiah. Hmm. I say he'll probably come back. Who? Jeremiah, the cleric, the one guy. Yeah, but also remember that um, he did tell you that he's leaving. Right? What? So, he did tell you that he's leaving. So, like, oh, he's yeah. specifically there. He told you. Oh, yeah. He did tell me he was leaving. Hmm. Oh, yeah. That had happened. Well, Baron is just going to say, well, back on the road again to go try to see a cleric and try to appease them so that Ocean does not die. Uh, I just point at Ocean just laying on the ground. Not on the ground. In the cart. Uh, Ocean is dying. That is bad. Dude. Bro. That is pretty bad. Oh, okay, yeah. Dude. I'm just kind of there like, Ocean, dude, it's going to be okay. Stay with me. That is bad. You cannot have this person dead. Oh, Baron shall taking so the cart me. to our location. Uh, I shall roll a cart check. Woo! This can't be bad. Impossible. Okay, that's a, uh, that's a 11 for a cart check. Any cart mishaps? Does uh, Arzer fucking explode? What did you get? Uh, 11 on cart check. Uh, no. You continue onwards. Um, who's making all the rest of the checks? Perception checks. Uh, unless you guys don't want to do perception checks, which is fine as well. Can I make, can I make a perception I, check? Are you, are you taking a long breath, Sorzor? Because if you are, I, you know, you can't make a check. Can't make a I check. don't think so. Arzor, how high is your wisdom? Uh, 14. So I thought everyone but bear. I, I can make perception checks. Let's roll one of these perception checks. That is a yeah. 13. I need to think. Thirteen, baby. Okay, so Baram, you're what? Baram, you watch as the sun slowly rises as uh, everyone else is asleep. The fresh morning air slowly sweeps through the forest. You notice a couple birds. Oh, you notice a beehive at some point throughout this. Uh, the sun finally peaks over the uh, tree line, and that's when everyone wakes up. Uh, nothing bad really happened. So, what if what if Varum threw a rock at the beehive? <laughs> <laughs> They're just bees. Arzur, don't, don't, stop, stop picking up that rock, Arzur, no! <laughs> Disturbing the local wildlife once again, Arzur. I see him, I see him. <laughs> now, Varum is just fucking seeing all this nature and going like, what a wonderful thing, sucks that I'm none of that. <laughs> <laughs> No, Varum really? throws the rock at the beehive to spite nature. No, Varum does not spite nature. Arzur harasses bees. <laughs> <laughs> now, uh, Varum is going to look at the party and see only 
Hell and Arzorwig, and I'm gonna look at both of them and say, we are we have traveled in a certain amount of distance that I cannot really say that much. I put the uh, thing in the chat. Uh, what in this, the chat? Uh, the road. How far you guys are? Oh, okay. We have traveled a good amount of distance to Gifyari. We're almost halfway there. Wow! Oh, we're halfway there. Living on a prayer, take my hand. We'll make it. Song done. Uh, how many days has it been? Uh, it's been two days. Uh, okay, everybody use those third. rations. Yeah, so this is the beginning of the third day. Uh, so two more days. Uh, what is it? So to get to the Githyari, maybe take the rest of this day to travel, and you might get halfway up north to get the Ari up the road and then maybe another day after that maybe half a day you'll get to get the Ari. uh yeah let's let's do some traveling similar on my off time uh verm is going to be upgrading the car <laughs> <How so? laughs> uh, uh, simply making the wheels more round making sure point. that uh there's some things that should, if they get in a sticky pickle the wheels will have a bit more grit, so they don't fucking fly off a cliff. How many vials right. of poison can I make? So, rolling uh, vehicle proficiency? No. Huh? Uh, so, Arzor, um, you can make, I think, I believe one, but you need the ingredients, which I don't think you have, right? Hmm. What ingredients yeah, do we need? Yeah, get some ingredients. Mm -hmm. I see. Well, let's see. I will write that down. Hello there. I, I have a herbalism kit. I know how to nature better than anyone. Except our, except ocean. Ribbles on so scrap much. of paper, to-do list. Don't die. Making perception check. Me. All okay. Right. All of us. Oh, also, Arzor, we can hear your bird. You. Uh, eight. Birds. Yeah. Right, yes. Yeah. You don't really notice anything. You're kind of too preoccupied, kind of checking out the cart. For can now. I make a All right. Can I like peek out of the cart, make a perception check? I mean, that's Verum's. It's Verum's job, and he failed, so no. Job. Kel could be doing something like uh, sharpening his non-existent axe. <laughs> well, I mean, he got a new one. I yeah. got a 16, though. He's got a new one. Got a new boy. This one isn't cursed. <laughs> I rolled a perception check just to see what it would have been, and I rolled a 16, though. I do not care. That's fair. You're a trash monger. You monger and trash. I guess. Alright, I'm trying to find the uh, thing for alchemy that I've had before that I sent to my other players. I'll, I'll find it. Xanifar's Guide. Xanifar's Guide makes tools actually usable. One sec. Uh, okay, so let's continue. As the party travels uh, for the rest of the day, Varum is making perception checks, um, kind of looking around. Varum actually gets pretty distracted. Um, yeah. Anything else the rest of you are doing for the rest of the day? Um, hmm. Anything? Well, like, what can we do? Ocean, you look at Ocean, and um, you notice the tips of his ears start turning gray at the beginning of the day. And as the day slowly progresses, you notice as, uh, the grayness, uh, sorry, the blackness slowly trickle down to the center of his ear. Um, and you notice it just while when the wagon like starts on a, on a bumpy track, you notice his ears kind of like, uh, like sometimes tear off a bit of it. Mm. All right, dude, I'm fucking sitting next to Ocean, just trying to fucking... But uh, slowly, so right now he's turning pretty gray, even more gray than before. Uh, 
All right, so. As, um, as the party slowly travels throughout uh, all the way to Githyari, uh, can you guys remove a ration for today? Yeah, sure. And then, um, are you guys just heading straight to Githyari from here? At the I don't remember how it. many I have. Don't remember Oops. how many I have. Check your character sheet. Should be in there. All if right. it's not, then you have zero rations, which means you have to get some from someone else. No, I have some. All right. So uh, you slowly approach the river. Um, what do you guys do? Uh, it's 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 near the ocean, so it's it's pretty it's a pretty rough. It's near the ocean. But ocean's in the car. I made the, uh, ha, ha. I made the joke. Actually, can I collect some sand? What do you guys do? Uh, I'm gonna get some water so I can pour it on Ocean's uh open wounds since uh, Ocean is not doing well. All right. Dude, you should be gentle. He's like a. A damp towel. A damp shit. I probably have. Fuck. I wonder if. No shit. Shit. I guess you would have to be like gentle or. I know that. There, you take some yes. water. Salt yes. water, I should say. Water is good salt for the water? body. You're putting salt That's... water on the wound. All right. Uh -huh. It's salt, oh. salt water. Mm. <laughs> I say. I'm doing the greater good. And anyone who questions me... Or onto his wounds, he starts yelling in pain. He's in pain. I am not the greatest biologist. Fucking stop, dude. I have a water <laughs> skin. I'm just water continuously in pouring it on him. Not even stopping after the screaming. Uh, he's going to cast, uh, he's gonna cast uh, a purified water. A purified drink or water. Or drink of food. He's going to... He's gonna now, now when you pour, he's not screaming as much. Oh, thank goodness. He said he was gonna prepare it for today, so I did it for him. It's okay. All right. So. Oh, okay. Anyways, can I pick up some sand? You can. Um, what are you guys doing, though? So how are you gonna get across this river? It's, it's a pretty uh, rough river right now. I'm simply, oh. uh, as the kids say, vibing. I can swim. All right, so, okay, but what are you guys doing again? Uh, or, I'm just... That depends, to... actually. How deep is the river? So right here, it's it's pretty shallow, but the waves are pretty high. So like the uh, the rifts. So you can try to just go across it, and we'll see how that works. Can I try? If it fails on his uh, wagon chip, we'll have some problems, obviously. So you you guys go to the side. How do you guys want to get across the river? Like mm. I was gonna say, can I try swimming across it? Just for fun. I mean, you can just walk across it, but like you can walk across it from fine. But um, oh, it's that getting shallow? the cart across is the issue. We're just trying to get the cart across. Oh, it's I that could just shallow, cone of cold huh? it, freeze it. Good. Oh, although, how well does salt water freeze? I mean, it froze Robert and Baron, so <laughs> yeah, I think if it's enough to freeze people. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. Freezing freezes people. Did you know that? <laughs> yeah, but also salt melts ice. Well, it doesn't really it melt it, but reality. it raises its temperature. Yeah, I get it. It's freezing temperature. Yeah. yeah, it just raises the freezing temperature. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
So you want to try that, Cal? Uh, sh- sure. All right, go ahead and make... Uh, can you roll the damage? Two roll? six. Oh, damage. You don't have to roll attack this damage. Gotcha. And uh, then roll the d6, obviously. Um, there's that in Astral. And then d6. A one. Okay. All right, so you can use it again. Um... What was the uh what was the damage sorry? Thirty-six. Thirty-six? That is yeah. enough. That could be more than enough. <laughs> so Kel, you um from in, within you, uh you conjure the magic to free free the cone pole in front of you immediately breathing a huge portion of the river, creating a um uh, a bridge between the two lands. The water kind of splashing a bit onto the uh, onto the onto the uh, ice, but it's not budging. So yeah, you can get over it. It's pretty solid. All right. Nice. Can I find a cool rock and show it to Ocean and be like, "Hey, Ocean, check out this cool rock," and then I put the rock sure. back. Yeah. Sure. Does he say anything? He just kind of says, because he's so sick. Like, he can barely talk right now, so. <laughs> we need oh, to get him to the cleric right now. All right, so you guys pass the river. Um, the rest of the day, nothing really happens for him, uh, based on your perception. Uh, let me roll another perception. You already rolled for the day, so it's okay. Oh, an uh, eight for the day, huh? That's a yeah. I know. All right. As as you continue traveling, yo, ocean. Oh. Hey, ocean. I just showed you a cool rock. It was really cool. It was all like shiny and stuff. Yeah, you're also really sick and can't talk. You can barely talk. Sorry. And you're turning gray, and your ears Guess are. What? Fine. I can relate to that. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um. So. So your ears just almost are almost all off, so. You are currently the equivalent of yourself in real life. Mm-hmm. Wait. Since to my knowledge, aren't you sick? Speaking of which, I'm also playing Demon Soul, so that's nice. Anyway, continue on. Whatever happened. I, I, ain't, I ain't, like, big here right now, but I can, I can, I can speak and such. Right, so, uh, basically, we got to the river. Uh, Kel froze it over. We got over it. I'm guessing, man. Are you driving over the ice, right? And we just head out towards Githyari. Uh, we're taking the road. And, yeah. Uh, as right. we're starting to head northward, uh, the car slowly tilts to the right. And now we are heading north. So, uh, it is getting dark. So, what do you guys want to do? Hmm. Mm. Well, Shin is going to real quick cast Druid. Oh, sorry, wait. Um, see what kind of... hmm? Sorry, his ears aren't falling off. Um, your lips and uh, <clears throat> uh lips and nose. Okay. So, uh, let's see. so speaking is difficult right now. Does Druid Craft have a verbal component? Let me. Uh... Let's see. Does Druid Craft have a different component? Alright, uh, it's turning night, so what do you guys want to do? Mm. I'm simply carting at my best capability. The uh, horses get tired at night, so I wouldn't recommend that. Yeah. Well, I'm also resting sometimes. Uh, I do that sometimes. Yeah, but uh, the horses need, like, human long rest. Yeah, yeah. I still need to rest, so I'm going to rest at this area. All right. So, as the party slowly, uh, so so, are you guys setting up a camp? Are you going to a like? How how are you doing this? Uh. Yeah. What are we doing? Uh, setting up camp. Uh, Kel and the guarding. 
Who? No, Kate Bundy is good in this situation. What? Your capability to murder is good in this situation. Oh, okay. I'm not wrong. We're setting up camp. Can we get someone to do a survival check? Ooh, who is the... I suppose uh, I will we'll try to make sure to survey the, survey the area, see it's good. If all else fails... Uh, let's see. Survival check, survival check. I got a 17. 17. All right. Can we make it to the disadvantage since you're lich? Ah, slowly becoming lich. I see. Ah. That is an 11. Disadvantage for your disease, sorry. So, uh, with disadvantage, what did you get? Disadvantage, I got an 11. Okay, um, good enough. Uh, you find a clearing. You uh, actually you use produce flames just to create a uh, campfire. And everyone else sits up their tents by themselves. You set up yours. Or actually, I don't know if you guys even have tents. Whatever. You guys you can go to sleep, right? I don't have a tent. I guess I just lie down on the Ocean ground. has a bedroll, some sticks, and some leaves. And that's all he needs. Yep. Flops down on Vera the grass. Vera. And he continues Yo. to be Vera. What's up? Yo. It's not very true. Right? What is it? It's I not true. Yeah. Such... yeah. We're, we're starting up to this today. Sorry. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. I'm sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Oh, we didn't do much so far. Um, yeah. You're halfway. Are to get Yari. So, uh, we convinced the Jarl of Skyrim to give ourselves a house. <laughs> yes. mm -hmm. Yeah, that happened. Uh, not lying. There's no joke. Jarl of Skyrim. All right. So, as the as the party slowly fades to sleep. Oh yeah. By the way, everyone. Uh, Jeremiah's gone. So, just saying. Not neat. Uh, he's probably online. Like maybe playing he the just game. went. Maybe he just went to the bathroom. Yeah. So when he has woke up after the uh, dungeon, he's gone. So as you guys are traveling, um, you guys go to sleep. Everyone get the long rest, and then are you guys heading out again? Yeah. Uh, so. Let's see. Um. <clears throat> Yeah, probably. The ocean can't really communicate incredibly well currently, but he's good. Probably going to take some rations and eat whatever he can, considering it's pretty difficult currently. Can we feed him? Like while you can. Damn, if he's having difficulty, he we can help him eat. Yeah. yeah. We can draw strength, but it'll be fine. Alright, so everyone's back in the cart. Baron, go ahead and make a uh, animal uh, vehicle check, and then who's the perception check for the day? Uh, nobody Ocean wants to. His eyes currently. If nobody else wants to, I'll do it. I can do the perception, I guess. Someone just. Ours or a robber just do one with advantage. One of, yeah, you. one of you. One of you do it with advantage. One. Uno. Uh ours or should I do it? I call dibs. I have like a plus four to this. Okay, go oh, ahead. Shit, this is do uh it was advantage, remember that. I mean mm -hmm. yes, I don't think we'll be using it for today, but we'll find it. I got a twenty two, and that's with advantage. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh Grayson, shush. Doggy. Dog. Dog. Doggy. All right, Rizor. Um, you stare out into the uh, into the forest and trying to protect Ocean from any dangers. Searching outwards, you notice a deer. Mm -hmm. Um, another owl bear. 
uh, in the distance, sitting on a rock with its cub. Mm -hmm. Yo, is it the like father that like did we kill the mother? All right. Um. Then you notice, uh, in the very distance, you notice what seems to be an elk of preposterous size. Uh, you notice like this pool of water very far into the forest, into this dense forest, but you can just make it out for a couple of seconds as the cart moves along just in the right position. Uh, this pool of water, uh, and above it is this huge elk. Huh. I wonder what that is. Kind of stares at you for a second. It seems to have these yellow eyes. Oh. There. And you guys can mm. Who are you talking to, Arzur? Question. Are you communicating any of what you're seeing to anyone? Oh, yeah. Nice eyes. Do you like mine? Yes. Who are... Who is she talking to? <clears throat> yeah, she's but just like... like one of our team members are fucking dying. The other is going mad. <laughs> also, uh, Cyro is with us. He is just not on the call. So. Who? Cyro. Uh, Child? Okay. Child. Right, so today, I should actually change the calendar, shouldn't I? Um, today is the 24th of Dresden. <laughs> and this, this is a Actually, the final day. So, um, midway through the day, as you guys are traveling, um, in the very distance, you notice a spiral going upwards, and at the very top is a is a ball, an orange ball, basically. Um, as you continue through the forest, it starts. Uh, you notice the uh, trees themselves start getting uh, less in quantity, and you finally arrive at a clearing with uh, with a house. And then as you continue down the path, more and more houses until you reach into the uh, middle of Githyare. So welcome. Um, it does have a large spiral. Uh, hey, Ocean, see that? See that? We're in Githyare. We're going to go to the cleric. You're going right? to be better. It's going to be all right, all right? You're giving us like, something so called jinxing it. And weak thumbs up. <laughs> so in this town, uh, there are multiple you made uh, it. hills, and near the hills are where people set up their temples, uh, monasteries, that kind of stuff. Okay. Um, I'm well as around, uh, pal, I'm gonna ask around if the people over here like to know where. Do you want to get out of the carriage the and ask around, or do you want to be like you're just asking around, like inside the carriage? Uh, where, where you get around, inside? yeah, yeah, get out. As Rob jumps out of the carriage, and you're going to ask everyone, go ahead and make an investigation check. What are you guys doing? Where are you parking, Varen? What are you doing? Uh, virtual tabletop not found. I got a 17, by the way. Okay. Uh, that's because uh, you don't just... have a tab open with the... Uh, oh, Astro. yeah. But it's okay. Yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me just take a picture. We are... Let's... <laughs> Hey, I got a message. One second, guys. Uh, I got a 17. I'll send the photo later. Hold on. There we go. Now I can hear you. Baron, what is it? Uh, what is what? I couldn't hear you for a while. All right. Um, so we arrived. We arrived. We arrived at. Uh, oh, where do you want to park? Your. Oh, you where do I want to park? Uh, they got parking lots in upwards. They got parking lots in Githyari. <laughs> Yo, what state doesn't? <laughs> uh, we're just gonna park uh, our order. car outside. Actually, is there an end here? In here, there are multiple ends here. <laughs> uh, I see. Well, I'm gonna look for the one that looks the poorest. I'm <laughs> not gonna get that one. All right. Um, so probably the best inn is, again, the Flamish Hound, which is a, uh, international inn. 
Hey uh, guys, instead of going to the inn, shouldn't we like help Ocean first? We're, yeah, shouldn't we be looking? Well, that's what Robert's saying. We can't. Is finding what? a place to actually put the horses. Mm -hmm. Split the group. One of we us. Just, like go to the hill with the horse carriages. Like, wouldn't it be faster? Or are they like steps? Stolen. There are steps. Um, we at least there. need something to attach it. Can, you're making a message check to find the uh, inn. Okay. And what is everyone doing basically here? So Robert, uh, mm -hmm. I'll say while well, Varum is looking for an inn, you ask around. Um, there are multiple temples uh, north of the town into the hills. There are steps going upwards into multiple uh, religion, huh? uh, religious temples. So No, I asked who's the like uh, highest cleric here. Not like where's the cleric. So, um, so Gyro uh, is a cleric living within the temple of I'm uh, uh, sorry, Bahmud, right? Balmud, okay. Uh, I guess I'm a right. So wait, uh, Cal, is this go there? Is it like faster to go there on foot, or is it faster to go there on horse? Uh, so this this <laughs> Alvin looks at you. Um, well, you would need to climb the steps upwards to the temple. Yeah, I don't steps. think horses can do that. <laughs> Like, I I'm believe in the ocean. horses. Let's go. Like I'm not oh like I'm not ocean, but I'm pretty sure that's how horses work. Well I am <laughs> I'm just going to force I'm the, the horse. The <laughs> no no, I'm just giving it. Uh, the cleric of that uh, is is on the very right temple. The uh the very right temple basically. Very right. That's okay. where. Uh, I'ma find the others and tell them like this is the highest cleric they got here. We gotta go to him. Make an investigation check because you pretty much lost him by now. Okay. Um, Varum. Um, that's a yeah. forty. What did you get on the investigation check, Varum? I got seventeen. Uh, well, eighteen minus one, but you know. You found you found the uh, you found them, but uh, they were added in. Um. Yeah, you're at an inn. What do you? Uh, so the rest of you. Uh, so there is like a like a piece of wood stapled into the ground where you can tie up your horses. Boom. So yeah. Uh, yes. Did I got a forty? Yeah. Yeah. You found them. easy. Okay. Verum, Ocean, Cal, mm -hmm. and Arthur. Mm -hmm. Look, guys. There's mm -hmm. a temple called ba There's a temple of Behelmut. What was it? Uh -huh. Yep, but oh, I've heard okay. Of uh, they say the like highest cleric here is like over there. We gotta go to him. Ocean, I think okay. like we gotta be fast about this. So, how about where I'm carrying you, dude? Uh, he kind of he's kind of just lounging in the car. We haven't. I, I don't think we've, we've actually entered the inn yet, have we? We're just kind of. Hanging up by it, right? No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Okay. He's just kind of lounging in the cart for a second and tries to get up and stabilizes himself with his staff. Today, he, uh... Yesterday, he changed up his, uh... mage armor to give him a pair of gloves to properly use his hands. By this point, his <laughs> mage armor is actually consisting of... what is like a small cloth made out of leaves around his torso, and his down to his arms, down to the, uh, thing, and a kind of partially made mask of wood down to his, uh, mouth. You can tell he's try kind of trying to make sure that whatever is rotting off is not very visible. Hey, man, uh, I have a spare cloak. Yeah, sure he actually, that? as he tries to get up, and like, kind of stands leaning on his staff. He kind of taps the cloak on Arzor and just kind of taps him real quick, and then tries to get down out of the cart <sighs> with a little bit of difficulty, and just starts seeing if he can walk decently enough to get off over there. Hey, dude, do you want to like hold steady 
on my like shoulder or something. I don't know if my hand can reach, but Mm -hmm. He you kind good? of taps his uh, staff on the ground a few times, kind of looks at you and shakes his head. Uh, but he does, like, kind of gently put a hand on the cloak and just kind of, whoop, like, brings it over your head, just kind of rests it over his, pulls the hood up, looks at you, thumbs up. Like, okay, we're good. Mm -hmm. Thumbs up back. Yeah. Finger guns. Hey. Hey. Okay, let's go. <clears throat> You're still dying. Yes, he is still mm -hmm. lying. Mm. Shame. <laughs> so, are we going or not, bitch? Uh, we should be on our way very soon. It's not the wisest No, side. we should be not soon. We should be right now. Right, so, uh, are you guys renting a room or what at the end? No, we, uh, we can do that later. Yeah. We can do that later. We can heal Ocean later. We just gotta go and like so, have Ocean now. Ocean, so your ears have fallen off by now. Mm -hmm. That's concerning. What is it? What's the last one? That's bad. Yeah, that's the end of day three, right? All right. Yep. I'm sorry, day four. Okay, so Ocean, your ears are slowly rotting off. Today is the 25th of Trestern, uh, midday so far. Uh, you guys are traveling towards the Temple of Bahamut. Isn't Bahamut a bad dude? Out of character, by the way. Bad He's Tiamat. He's the opposite of Tiamat, which is a bad dude. Theoretically, in Mesopotamian lore, he's a sort of Tiamat. Those are the good guys. The chromatic dragons are the bad guys. That's pretty much it. That's that's dragons that's a lot short of it. Bad and good. Dragons are dragons. No. Dragons are dragons. Know. Metallic ones are good guys. Chromatic ones are bad guys. That's the long and short of it. Uh, I think chromatic dragons are really pretty, though. They're such pretty colors. Yeah. Anyway. If the if their skin tone is that of a color, they're bad. See, it's American politics. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's get one. Politically correct uh, term for uh, colored dragons is chromatic, guys. Come on. Right, so... <laughs> chromatic. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 all these colored so... dragons in my neighborhood influencing my children. <laughs> Okay, so you guys are uh, making your way towards the temple. Um, so you arrive at the uh, side of the uh, side of the North Mountains. Uh, you take a path to the right, according to whatever the Elven woman said. Um, you go to the right, and you see a sign uh, with a shield and a dragon's head on it. Uh, sorry, not a dragon's head. Uh, the symbol of a dragon's head on it on the on a blue shield, I should say, uh, which is the symbol for Bahamut, obviously. That appears Listen to me. be Bahamut. Um, so the trail continues oh, to form until it reaches steps. And these steps have been engraved either magically or uh, manually into <laughs> this uh, into this mountainside going all the way up, maybe 200 steps up. And Ocean, you're looking at this and you're, you're just like, bruh. There, carry Ocean, we gotta go fast. Right. How much, uh, how much uh, do you weigh? Can you make a throw, I should say. Or two constitutes the same throws. One for last hour, one for this hour, I should say. That was um, me? Yeah. Okay. Two? You got two? It. And then the next one? I got a 19 and a 10. Yeah, with disadvantage, obviously. Um. With that, too, you do fall unconscious. So when you guys are at the end, Ocean just falls unconscious. So now you guys are carrying him. I didn't get a 2. I got a 10. Oh, a 10. Okay. Ocean. I thought that was a disadvantage. Oh, no. That You said make 2, so I made 2 there. But let me make the uh, second one, then. That's yeah. Three teams. So, so. so there's that. And then... Yeah, this so on the low thirteen. A what? A thirteen. 
The 13, which is disadvantage. So 10 and a 13. That means the 10 is the right one, right? Yeah. Uh, no, I was making two separate rolls because you told me to make two, like, for two yeah, instances. Two roll. One is a 10 with disadvantage, the other one is 13 with the disadvantage. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You wait. Yeah. All right. So. Ocean. Uh, with that turn, you fail. Uh, to say, uh, just for dramatic effect, um, during when uh, you look upwards towards the open, uh, the open doorway and the, all these one thousand steps, you just fall unconscious onto the onto the stairway. Ocean, Guys. it's not that bad. Oh, he's unconscious. Vera, pick up Ocean. We can, uh, and I can help stairs. you. Stupid fucking stairs. I hate stairs. Your stair these stairs are killing your friend. Also, you should probably stab them. <laughs> I should. Uh if you somebody should have warned us about around. stairs, bro. God damn it. I mean we should have we should have been able to like see the stairs, you know? <laughs> like going up to the temples. Dog, they should have told us. No, you should have warned us about those stairs, bro. It keeps happening! So, Varim, you have no issue climbing all these stairs, but um, for the rest of the party, they're just, like, falling behind. Maybe Kel is okay, because it's your strength modifier, but everyone else is... Yeah. Everyone else is, like, super tired, like, Robert and Absorb. You guys are just panting, like, even, like, 50 steps up, you guys are just, like, tired. Bro, I'm an old ass fucking guy. <laughs> of course I am. Yeah. <laughs> Even if I step two steps at a time. I'm an old race dude. You're too Probably short. Got a belly too. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sad. You're the only one who who is going one step at a time, actually. Anyway. <laughs> one step at a time. Dun 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 dun. Miriam carry ocean super fast. You gotta go fast as you can, bro. Verum, you arrive at the doorway. Um, you arrive at the very top of the doorway. Um, and Ocean, you take how much damage? Let's find out. Wait, Ocean takes damage? What the fuck? You take one damage. Oh. One damage? Okay. Why did he take damage? <laughs> oh, no. Uh, from the, what's we call it? Rotting. Oh, it's rotting. He's rotting away, right? Uh, ocean, stop dying. I refuse this. Stop. <laughs> this fucking John Tron. Stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> you arrive at the very top of the stairway and looking into this brass temple embedded into the side of this mountain. Um, inside are some. Uh, monks, as well as some clerics standing around. I'm just gonna yell, we need help. Uh, everyone looks around. Uh, one man in particular, seems to be um, high elven in nature, comes over, um, looks at you, he's holding a book with the symbol of Bahamut at the back of it. What seems to be the issue? Okay, he, looks at, he looks at Ocean, he's like, oh my god. Hi, friend. Let's cut to the chase. We need help now. She's dying. Also, we need help now, like right now. Like, come on. Okay, let's do it. He is fucking dying. Uh, right this way. Right this way. Um. All right. So he leads you to the right, uh, into a hallway. Turn the. You turn to the left into one of the. Uh, there's like ten doors going down this hallway. You go to the the immediate to the left, um, uh, and inside is a bed. Uh, basically, a like what seems to be like a normal, like like a like an in room basically, and he just plays. He takes he takes uh, Ocean from Verum and places him down onto the bed. Damn, he's strong. And, Very strong. <laughs> yeah. I mean, this guy's pretty tall as well. So, as he stands above you all, I mean, sorry, as he as he takes as he puts Ocean down, he um he looks he looks at him. I'll need some help. Um, I'll help you. What do you need? No, by the rest of my clerics. Um, you could all go talk to our uh, 
a receptionist. She will provide you the information necessary uh, for whatever procedure we're doing. Uh, I need to go get emergency help. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, he Understood. runs down the hallway. Understood. Ocean, we are saving your life. Do not die in the meanwhile. All right, Ocean, you are taking how much damage? Hey, guys, out of character, out of character talk. Ocean, if they want us to him. pay, if they want us to pay, let's just wait for them to heal Ocean first, and then just run the fuck out. That's <laughs> if that's it. <laughs> how much uh, damage? Seven, seven okay. damage. I mean, telling it now while the DM is here is not the smartest idea, but like, let's just do that. <laughs> these guys are literally high clerics. I like these. These guys are like absolutely gonna wreck you guys. If they can cast yeah. seven level spells, they can force you to pay. They probably have spells that can do that. Oh, oh, <laughs> literally, literally has command pay. Thank you. Goodbye. Command. Don't pay worry, money. you guys. But if they I'm say come in, well, you know you guys, I have over two hundred gold pieces. I have we'll over one five hundred. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> what are you guys doing? But, so you guys are outside the room right now. You see Ocean kind of like flailing around in the uh, in the bed. Ocean, I'm just gonna go talk to the receptionist. I'm kind of backing off, like out of respect, just kind of looking back cautiously. Like, hey, I'm gonna go talk to the receptionist. All right. Okay. Everyone else is following him, right? Yeah. Sorry. I guess. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, you go up to the receptionist. Uh, she seems to be a dwarf. Oh, hello. I'm not, I'm not... Hello there. Uh, is the sir or a madam? Hello, ma'am. Or a. Uh, <laughs> it could so be I a male. Info. I got the info from uh, from Gyro. I wrote it down. Um, apparently, Don't be sexist, bro. <laughs> apparently, he's what? Not sexist. Receptions are female. Like, uh, like, what's what's the issue? I don't see an no, issue. No, like, <laughs> receptions can be male. No, they can't, dude. Yes. Have you ever watched? Like, that's not fun, dude. That's not. Bro, it's impressive. Bro, bro, it's illegal, man. Bro, bro. it's illegal. Bro. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Anyways. Illegal, bro. Yeah, let's not wait for Ocean to die and just like talk through it. Like, click. Um, we are giving you uh, the best care possible from these clerics, and they know what they're doing. Uh, Gyro said it's it's a pretty simple treatment. It will take a while to create, though. Uh, apparently, he has seen something like this before. Uh, a specific spell is required. Um, in terms of uh, recovery, maybe by tomorrow he will be okay, uh, awake. Oh, that is fast. Uh, healing him, all the, on the other hand, he'll probably be unconscious for the rest of today. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of the procedure, it will cost uh, 1,000 gold pieces. Damn, we go <laughs> broke then. Okay. Yeah. I'm, okay, I'm putting all you... my 500 in here. Can I give oh, you 250 up front? Okay. Who's good at oh. deception? Uh, me. I guess. Okay, you don't have high charisma. To me my too. Knowledge. Yeah, I have high charisma. And they, that I... doesn't high charisma. It's high charisma, dude. We need someone with high charisma, aka someone who can uh, lie good. I can. <laughs> hey. I got an 18 I'm... on charisma. What the fuck is going on, dude? Oh, you, why do you have an 18 in charisma? All right, uh, deception check. Tell him we don't have enough gold for that. Uh, I guess he won't get treated. We don't know how much of no, us we just no. need to save one's life. Look, I'm putting 400 in here. Our, uh, Arzor is putting 200. There's 600. You guys can do 200 each, right? Uh, mm -hmm. Let me check how much money I, I have. Nope. Uh, I'm a poor yes, boy. Yes, you fucking can. I mean, you got 200 from when we visited the king place. So yeah, you should have. Alright. Alright. Sure, I'll do it. <laughs> then we just pay. Alright. Right. I'll put in 200. Alright, so... Yo, is that top, so Robert, you said you're no. paying 400, right? Yeah, 400. 
200. Varim, you said 200, so that's 600. Ours already said 250, you said? Yeah. Uh, that's 850. We need 150 left. Kyle, you have 150? Yep. All right, so that is, uh, that is all our money. Well, hey, Varim, I think, I think you may or may not have all that money in your eyes, but, you know. You may or may not. Okay. Uh, I'm going to let him keep it so he can pay me later. By the way, Ocean, you're 100% going to pay me for this. Oh, yeah, I got it. You're good. Go ahead. Right, you pay the 1,000 gold pieces. Um, if you fucking make... If you fucking charge him anything he doesn't have, so fucking help me. He will be in good hands. Um, until then, uh, I recommend uh, waiting uh, in town. We have some Finance, and I think he'll be. Uh, I think he'll be in a trick for tomorrow. Correct, a high harvest day. She looks at the calendar. Yeah, high harvest day. You guys go. I'm gonna save with ocean. I just want my yeah. friends to be. Uh, I, I'll stay with ocean too. I'm just gonna go keep an eye on the cart so it don't get stolen. Yeah, yeah just uh, Kel's too. gonna go guard the cart as well. All right. Welcome to Cart Guards with Kel and uh, <laughs> Miriam, boy. It's it's the latest buddy cop series. <laughs> he's <laughs> dumb. <laughs> he's dumber, and everyone else is in danger. Is Cal black? Because they, they one of them needs to be black. <laughs> he's turning gray. Yeah, he's he's, he's dark. actually gray right now. Yeah, he's yeah. gray. So I mean, yeah, he's gray. He's Pretty much. gray. Like, he's basically Voldemort now. He doesn't have a nose. He doesn't have ears. He doesn't have any. He's Voldemort, dude. Child doesn't he have ears. Indicators of being alive. Oh, no, Ocean okay. doesn't. He's literally Voldemort now. All right, so Arzor and Robert. Oh, my see, God, Robert. <laughs> they sit at these uh, seats, very fine seats outside the uh, outside the rooms. You can kind of see the three clerics sitting around, uh, standing around his uh, body as he's kind of flailing and his skin dripping off. They start casting um, these spells of prayer and worship. Um, they're going to cast Greater Restoration, 7th level. Sorry, Regenerate. I thought it was Regeneration. Yeah, it's Regeneration. 7th yeah, it was... level Regenerate. And let me get the uh, IV. This. Yeah, so they all stay three clerks stand around the uh, talk to the receptionist again. slowly casting their spell. Uh, so I'm gonna go talk to the so receptionist again. All right, what do you want to talk to her about? Bahamut, who is this bah dude? Who is this nigga? Uh, Bahamut is is a is a god of of uh is a dragon god, obviously, uh, served by goodness who want to protect this earth. Um, he uh, essentially he and Tiamat, or sorry, she is it? Yeah, no, no, Bahamut is she, he. So he and Tiamat have been born from the same dragon. Um. But, Who is this uh, father or mother dragon? Mm -hmm. I'm listening. When, during a war between the giants and the and the dragons, uh, the giants split a dragon in two using a axe called the Great Asylum. Uh, killing killing this dragon split it into two gods. I that hurt. Bahamut well, I said I hurt. and Tiamat. Tiamat I bet that hurt. Um, took the worst sides of this dragon, while Bahamut took the better sides and more noble sides of this dragon. Um, if you have noticed, uh, silver dragons and more chroma uh, non chromatic dragons seem to have uh, more goodness in them compared to chromatic dragons, which serve Tiamat, a seven headed dragon, um, which has now been forced to. Reside with the nine hells. Uh, luckily for us, she can't escape from there, but Bahamut is able to visit us in our dreams and our prayers. So, hey, help. Quick question. Uh, yep. If I like 
start blaming in this dude. Can I get a level on cleric? Good, but that's multi-classing. Yeah, we can't. Multi oh yeah, that's yeah, yeah. Yeah, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> you could. Though. Kinda... You really want to believe in Bahamut. Vels. I mean, he kind of sounds cool. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> he, he's here. a pretty good. He's a pretty good guy. But you do. Do you know who's better? It's cool, dude. <laughs> Remember biggest tickets, bro. That is still my name on Reddit. <laughs> Yeah, but do you remember the uh the, the god that you made? Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you tricked, I created you tricked, a god. Yeah, you tricked a god. You tricked some stars into believing in them. Yeah. All right, so what is the god? To get you? No, I literally made some people like believe in bigger stickers, and there was a, a god called Bigger Stickers. <laughs> and what was his domain? There is no domain. That's a fake ass name for a god. There is no god. <laughs> I just make people believe in it. <laughs> there is no god. Plot your world. There is no god. god. Is just... Robert, she, you seem yeah. interested in him. So she pulls out this silver pendant uh, in the shape of, of Bahamut's symbol, which is also in, also in chat. That's a cool ass fucking shit. Okay. She hands him. I'm gonna keep that. I'm gonna keep that. From ba uh, of Bahamut. So help me if. Thank you, madam. So help me God. if you. God. I hope can, your friend becomes well. If you can make him well, so help me. I will be like eternally grateful to him. For how much? You know? Yo, I think they're gonna help him now. Like, we don't have to worry about it now. We paid them Thank one thousand gold. Okay. If they don't make it, I, w I want it back. Hey, can I get a receipt on that? Right, so of course. The of hour course. passes. So, <laughs> and Robert, we kind of sit there together, looking at ocean. Uh, the hour passes. After a while, um, and finally. Uh, the the clerics leave the room, closing the door behind him. Can He'll we go in there? Fine. He'll do just fine. If you want to go in there, you can. Uh, just don't wake him. Um, he needs to sleep. Fucking break down. No, no, no. Just fucking prank him, like with the fucking. <laughs> just put some like. Uh... Oh, so you made ours are worried. Don't do that. Tell him. No, she... Um, what are you guys doing at the end right now? So fucking think, help me, yeah. Robert. If you prank, I will. If you draw a mustache on me, it's not like I have a nose or lips right now, so it's not like it would do anything. Come <laughs> no, on. I was and going to plan on doing like uh... everything is back to normal. It took uh, a while. Oh, you like a wild yeah. fucking animal. Uh, also, now you're just, like, super ocean, ocean. Uh, would you be mad if I like put uh, cream on your hand and just tickled your nose? He wouldn't, but that's not a good thing to do in a hospital, I'll say. <laughs> I don't recommend it, but if you want, I can't stop you. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that, never mind. Is it saying no? Like, okay, this... This would be fine, but... Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna do that, I don't have any cream. And yes, this oh, so is the only I reason that some of them are unconscious. Would you be angry about it? Fucking puts gun in her hand. I mean, his. Hmm. Hmm. Do not. Frames them for murder. Please! Ah, oh, uh, Femboy. As this goes, so Bam and Kelly, you guys are standing outside the end. The carriage is fine. You guys want to rent a room or rooms? Uh, how much are rooms? So, this specific inn, since Bam chose to get the best inn in the city, um, it so costs around four pieces per, per room. Um, how many? The best, yeah. How many? Two gold pieces per uh, room. Two. All right, it's not bad. 
Uh, I'll buy a room. All right. Uh, one room. Yeah. All right. Every kind Uh, of the ship. the orcish, uh, the orcish man inside takes the gold pieces. Thank you for your service. Um, he puts it into the uh, into like a drawer. All right. All right. Uh, anything you want to do, Bear? Uh, Verum is going to be protecting cart as usual. All right. You don't want to get a room. Uh, I'm gonna guess Arzur and Ocean are gonna get room. Uh, in the meanwhile, I am just going to protect cart since I can do that. Uh, I am going to be fucking sleeping on the floor, guarding the room where Ocean is. Yes, yeah, so now I'm gonna. Gonna... I'm just gonna stay in front of the room, like, sitting next to it. So fucking help me if anything happens. How many times have I said so fucking help me? I don't know. So fucking so much. Fucking help him. Hey, we made the same joke where I fired it. Don't touch me. Bro, I'm gonna yeah. jerk off your helmet inside of your helmet if you don't stop that. Don't don't touch me. You're weird and old. No offense, but you're you got that old like gross vibes. Like, oh, bro, you're does. older than me. He does. You're older than me. I am older than you. <laughs> okay. It's funny because the other day I was going through some rocks. And then I found a fossil. Huh? And then I saw a funny little rock shaped like a seashell. <laughs> you are going through rocks. That's <laughs> <Arzer> for you. <laughs> but she isn't The Arzer. joke is that you are the fossil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you That's are the king of grave. I get it. I mean, isn't that kind of like grave hunting or like grave robbery? Theoretically, all philosophers. Philosophers. Not philosophers, I... uh, archaeologists are yeah. grave robbers. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but philosophers are not grave robbers. Maybe they got grave robbed, but like. The philosophers, depending if you consider the art of pro something you own, yes, they all philosophers are grave robbers. Mm -hmm. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, the philosophy of grave robbing by me. And that brings into the that brings in the philosophy of. Is it moral to steal from the dead? Is it a yes, property? I mean, they're dead. Is they're dead. you come up with a property that you I mean, own? I mean, they're really, dead. Like we don't have anything to do. With that. Do you own your thoughts? Yeah, you own them. Hmm. And then and you if think someone about somebody else, else's thoughts. You both are owning that thought. Because they're different thoughts. It's not like uh, two people can have like an iPhone. Everyone can have an iPhone. They just have to be yeah. it. Steals your fucking thoughts. Steals my iPhone. Oh no. We're in the middle century. Steals your fucking fingers. What's she gonna do about it? Steals your fucking What melanin. are you gonna do about it? Shake your fist? What it? Where are we? Steals your fucking melanin. What's up now, nigger? <laughs> you now you're a cracker. Ah, uh, dude, don't. <laughs> I mean, can you steal melanin from a person? You can try. No, like in real life, like can you like? No. I know white people can turn into blacks, but like, can black people can be white? Michael Jackson did uh, it. But his was like a condition. It's nothing about his like melanin. Yeah. Dude. We're going into very philosophical like philosophy levels here. <laughs> philosophy is yeah. there. I hope I wish Dionysus were here like what the fuck are you guys doing? This is not philosophy. Ocean is a fanboy. Okay, you said yourself. 
Okay, you said it yourself. I'm gonna drop all. Uh, I don't regret anything. Oh, you said Verum. I said Ocean is a femboy. Yes, you said that now, but before that you said Verum. No, I did not. The fuck are you on? I said Ocean's a femboy. No, we all heard. We all heard Verum. Yeah. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Arzer, drop femboy you Verum. Please. Bullshit me, sir. <laughs> Arzer, like please drop. I'm not a dumbass. Dumb Most of the time, Arzer, you're fine. Most of the time. Arthur, can you please I'm drop that? You Damn. If you don't, I can. <laughs> My longest deep sigh ever. Hold on, I'm gonna just Photoshop that real quick. Dude. Anyways, can we continue with the session? I think Pal is angry at us. Oh, he left! <laughs> yeah, he's he's been gone for a long time. Oh. He's in, no. Oh yeah, he's in a oh. solo, oh, session, solo with, session with Ocean. Yeah. Yeah, things are happening. This usually scares me. I hope it's going okay. Oh shit, Ocean oh, is going to be okay. fucking driving. Uh, oh yeah. Things are happening right now, and that's bad. Ocean is Cold. going to be a dragon. No. Ocean equals dragon. Ocean could become a cleric. <laughs> I mean, That's we already right. have a cleric, no. Jeremiah. I mean, no, Jeremiah's hey, already gone. But he's he gone did. right now, so... He oh, he's gone? Fuck your dip. Yeah. Like, kinda It'll left. be fun! I'm a furry, he's a scaly. That was a joke. <laughs> Archer's a furry? Hmm. Wait, Archer's a furry? It wouldn't be out of character, uh, of their personal self. Hmm. Yeah? But like, she drew a rat once. That was pretty furry. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, as long as she doesn't fuck the rat, like, yeah, it, it was no, legit. Just like a, it was a normal rat, but bro, aren't furry is just... fucking disgusting? It's fucking aren't furry is like basically bestiality though? Yes. No. I just like to draw animals. I don't want to like. No, no, I'm. I'm not talking about it. you. I'm talking about all of the furries. Ah. Oh yeah, Lots most furries. Gross. Who knew? Well, I'm just gonna jump into this lava until I get my Alucard back. Yeah, most furries are pretty gross. Surprisingly, furries aren't great. Yeah. So. I would kill a furry if I could. Face. Welcome oh, back. Oh, hi, fellas. Welcome back. Um, it, it becomes nighttime. Robert and... <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah, Robert and Arthur, what, what are you guys doing? Are you guys going to head to sleep somewhere? Or what? I'm just going to stay in front of the room. All right. Uh, the, re the receptionist comes up to you. If you'd like, we have some extra rooms if you want to um, head to bed. Well, okay. I'm just going to stay in the front. I'm not going to sleep. Thank you. Oh, it's not any trouble. It's, it's a bed. You can sleep right next to. If you want, we can move it into his room. Fucking fall oh, asleep can? on the floor. Yeah, we can. Uh, the beds. Okay, put Arzor in that bed. I'm just not gonna go to sleep. I just wanna stay awake. I do be sleeping right, on Robert, the floor. Oh, you get a point of exhaustion though. Yeah, I don't care. I'm. I just don't want anything to happen to Ocean. <laughs> all right. Yeah. All right. That's okay. Arzor, uh, they lay out a bed. We move, they move the bed into Ocean's room if you want to have to sleep there. I mean, did she already fall asleep on the floor? Dude, she can't answer. She's asleep. Right. Yeah, I'll just put her... I'll just tug her in. I'll just tug her in. Alright. You just put her in the bed? Yeah. And you just kind of sit outside his room, kind of like, hoping he doesn't die. Okay. I'm not concerned about him, I'm concerned about the clerics. What? I'm con more concerned about the clerics. Hmm. I just hope they don't pull something out of there. Right. Why do you not trust clerics? Have you been wronged by them? Uh, no. But I still don't trust, like, everyone, you know? I, I see. see. Well, it is around 2 a.m. 
Your eyes, for the first time in a very long time, slowly open. You look to your right. Let me see a wall. Uh, to your right, you, 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 uh, you, right, you notice Arzor sleeping in a separate bed next to you. Mm -hmm. And you notice outside, Robert is like, kind of like uh, twitching his leg a bit in the hallway, looking at you. And then, Robert, you notice him move. Ocean, what do you want to do? Oh, is it Arthur asleep? How does she see that? No, I'm saying you see that, Robert. Oh, okay. Ocean, what do you want to do? Ocean is still a bit groggy from all that, so he just gently sits up a bit. Cracks his hey, neck, hey, maybe. don't sit. Don't sit, don't sit. Right. Lay down. Lay down. <clears throat> Yeah, all right. Sure. Do you know the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell? Oh, sure. We just know. hear that. <laughs> anyway. We just so overbuilt. Are you just going to sentry his rest outside the end? Uh, I am protecting the cart from theft. All right. So sentry's rest. Cool. I still don't know what sentry's rest is. How do you rest for a whole century? Well, <laughs> very simple. No. You just sleep, bro. First, you become an elf. Second, you become a druid at 18th level. Third, you become First, a bear. You can now live for 3,000 years and sleep for most of that. First, you become a mortal. Mm -hmm. Then you become a mortal. Then you become a mortal. And there we go. You are. Yeah. It's very it's simple. Stuff, but Yo, we're you just... a mortal. So, Barum, as you as you're kind of like in centuries first, you watch through the town and you notice people kind of like going around and putting up like these uh, bright uh, orange and yellow colored um, symbols across the across the town, kind of hanging streamers. Um. Wait, did you just say streamers? Hold up. Oh, sorry. Wait. Sorry. I, I react violently if you say the stream word, uh, nor I also react violent to the hog word, as you guys call it. Uh, very, very, uh, wrong. Poggers. It's a, uh, Poggers, slur. Dude, it's How dare dare you. Um, gamers? Not allowed. Yeah, so, like, yeah, the streamers across the orange and, um, uh, orange and yellow streamers across the, uh... Twitch. <laughs> Twitch. Anyways. How many of them are saying poggers? All of them. Are just, they're just chatting. Just chatting, yeah. They're just... Uh, Chow, are you happy? What the fuck? No, they're cards. Nah, man, oh. he's fapping. It's just... It's but, uh, he, uh, <laughs> he yeah, he's just <laughs> fapping while, while in the session. <laughs> This is one wild session. Yep. <laughs> so, Don't worry. Imagine. Kel is imagine. fucking... <laughs> Ken is horny when the fucking people die. Right. Um, Kelly, you can sleep in the inn. Varum is looking over the parts. Everyone else, what are you guys doing? Um, <laughs> next to fucking Ocean. Alright, yeah. so yeah, so Ocean's uh, awake. Are right, You're heading back to sleep, right, Ocean? He's chilling. Kind of make it with the same throw. Make it with a save, please. Please. Wisdom save? Uh, oh, sure. That's the turning back. Famous right. words like, oh dear fuck. Oh dear what? Oh dear, oh no. Yeah, I'm fine, trust me. I got a nat one. Alright. Never mind. So you're kind of like sleeping, kind of like trying to relax a bit. You look to your right and you notice um, Arzor sleeping there. And she starts um, breathing inward, and she just does not stop. And then suddenly, she explodes into blood. The blood splatters <laughs> upon the walls. Excuse the blood, me, hold up. The blood splatters <laughs> onto the walls in the same in the same symbol you've seen before. The the arcanic star in the center, half circle, everywhere upon the room. You start. You start breathing heavily. Um, your mind becomes crazed for the rest of the hour. Um, tight little screens. Every so often, a Claire comes in, kind of looking at you, kind of 
casting uh, lesser spells like uh, Cure Wounds. Uh, re re uh, Oh. Yeah, they're just casting like lower level spells to try to keep you from whatever whatever's happening to you. You just notice this blood splatter across the wall. Um, Arthur, you actually wake up from these screams. Oh, ocean's screaming! Oh, I'm gonna take Arthur huh? out of there and go back in. Hey, Arthur, would you like to be, like, outside for a little while? Uh, what's going on? Uh, it's okay, <laughs> nothing nothing bad is going on. You come outside for a little while. That's I'm just, like, worst grabbing her. Mm -hmm. I'm grabbing her hand and just, like, taking her outside. I'm just going back and asking the clerics, what the fuck is going on here, dude? Seems to have some sort of mental block from him leaving his rotting phase. It should go away eventually, but let's see what happens in the morning, and then we'll see if he needs further treatment. This sounds like a scam. It does to me too, yeah. but like we don't have any option right you. now. We don't have any option. I can't charge you any extra. You already paid for his treatment. Yeah. Yes. I'm just gonna like. like for feather treatment. Those are going to be free. We paid for a fucking one thousand, anyways. Um, they take them, so they kind of cast more spells over the next hour. Ocean, you finally, finally, your madness ends, and you just kind of faint again, and they kind of cure you a little, and then you're back, and then you're just asleep for the rest of the night. Uh, Robert, what are you doing? I'm just standing in front of the door, like twist, twirling my fingers, you know, like, right. oh fuck, I hope nothing bad is gonna happen. I'm going back to sleep. Yeah, just go to sleep, bro. Robert, you notice the amulet of Bahamut start to like shine a little, just just a little. I'm gonna take a look at it. You know? I'm gonna go you ask the receptionist. Kind of look at it. Yeah, I look at it. And when you when you look at it, the shine disappears. I'm gonna go ask the reception and what's hot, what the fuck happened. Like, if it's normal. What did you see? Uh, it's a little bit shined, I guess. I, I don't know what's going on. Is it normal? Do you guys, like, have any spells in there? Um, no. Tell us, what spells do the clerics know here? That's interesting. So you're yes, saying it is that it started to glow? No, it's, it's a little bit shined, not a glow. Like a full on, not a full on glow. It's, it's a little bit shine. Interesting. A full on. I've only heard that to happen to very few people. Well, it looks like Bahamut is looking over you, my friend. Uh, I don't see any on? dragons looking over me. Mm. But that is interesting, I must say. Mm. Oh. Uh, hey, Pal, what happens if I wear it? If I put it on? Nothing. You don't know. Okay, I'm, okay, I'm gonna put it on. Let's see what happens. Right. Bless you. I think so. Thank you. Appreciate mm -hmm. Bless you. Still or no? Right, the morning eventually comes. An ocean, you wake up feeling energized, fully rested. And no longer just like slowly and surely perishing. You're not right. dead. Congrats. Right. You are alive. Congrats. Right, pal. What? Pal? Yeah, there's one. He's not dying, right? Um, I can't say for sure. <laughs> we'll find out later. In the I'm next right. episode of Dragon Ball Z. On the no, next Ocean die. Dragon Ball Z. Ocean okay. becomes a fanboy. Alright, Arzar, what are you doing? Uh, you finally see Ocean again. Uh, well rested, not rotting, as well. Like, I just woke up, okay. and I'm just seeing this, and I'm like, just fucking... 
just fucking rocket launch speed over there. Like, bro, bro, oh my god, bro, bro. Uh, uh, <laughs> ocean, roll damage, You're bro. You're okay. <laughs> roll damage. Bro, hold up. No, I'm making a constitution saving code. DM, you cannot stop me. Anyway, I would think, I would think it was like an like a strength saving throw because like she's coming at you and you're trying to keep your balance. So oh, she just oh. fucking turns into a yeah, missile. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, balance would be dex. They have the exact same modifier, but I'm going with dex. Let's do right. this, boys. Do Sounds I good. fall over? That is a nat. It's either 17. gonna be athletics or acrobatics. So not twenty. Oh, nice. That is a 17. 17. 17. 17. Six, bro. I didn't fall the fuck over. Sick. Anyway. He is not dead. Okay. Alright, Arzbury. Uh, just hold him. Okay. Alright. It's a little weird having oh, strong so ribs again. That's nice. Ocean kind I'm of just gonna like... The top of uh, his head out of... I'm just Wait, gonna like the punch him more. Again? If not, that's funny. Varen enters scene. Ocean, you are not dead. Not then. We'll say we'll say Baron and Cal will still go to visit him in the morning. So I right. think before before it does it look like a cancer Cal, you wake Fishing. up and in front of you is a crowd of people. Um multiple stands set up. Um what seem to be uh, some some stands have like these targets um uh, with bows and arrows, some of them have hand axe throwing. We have, um, they have, there's like stand with like a guy standing above a dunk tank. There's a lot of stuff. Okay. Okay. Oh, hell notice, yeah, so you notice, um, Yo, you notice, like, in a rope, like, you notice this wall with a rope, like a very tall wall with a rope on it on the, on the spire. Um, yeah, you notice. <laughs> You notice a guy uh, with three cups, and it's, it's very crowded here. Uh, a lot of orange colors and yellow colors across the uh, across the across the town. Okay. Uh, being Yo, is this I was a just gonna sort of walk away from it and just um, go to, you know, the temple area. All right. Just see. Efficiency. All right, so you guys enter the temple after climbing 200 steps. Um, you guys get a point of exhaustion. <laughs> no. <laughs> Notice Ocean and Arzur just kind of standing in the temple, kind of looking around. And then you guys see. So what do you guys want to do? I'm just going to light the punch Ocean. You yet oh, live. Nice. Good on you. Hey, I'm not fucking dead. Yeah. I don't like it though for a bit. Dreams were fucking with. Mm. Mm. Hey, Ocean. Yeah. You're gonna pay for this. Uh, you're gonna pay for this, dude. We had to. Pay. You shouldn't make us so worried so much. That's fair. I extend Ocean something. Stop it! It couldn't... wasn't his fault. But... I extend Ocean a hand for something he couldn't do previously. Handshake. Handshake. I got you hands. Hands now. I didn't realize how much I'd missed the tips of my fingers. Dude, having gloves in place of it they is not the same feeling. They really do come in handy, don't they? <laughs> oh, my God. Darren <laughs> pops Arzer on the head. You can't stop away. now. Hell yeah. Bonk. No horny, I guess. I have been. I have ocean. been punished. You yeah. notice some parts of the the rotting actually kept. Um, specifically, there's like a bit of cracking uh, around the lips, mm -hmm. um, as well as like a oh. hole, a very small hole through um his right ear. Hey, uh, ocean. Why yeah. did you get an ear piercing, bro? <laughs> uh, no. You put an earring uh, in it. I'm just gonna look at Ocean and just uh, take off my mask, and with my uh, skeleton mouth, I make loud clinking of my teeth chattering together. Ting, 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 ting. 
Uh, and I'm just gonna grab his hand and like hug it to his face. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? He's He's I'm showing him that he is still fucking rotting. What? Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, these. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It seems Leak this. Uh, Dry lips. Oh. Dry lips have oh, oh, that, ooh, don't oh. like that. That's squishy. Nope. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. I'm gonna go ask the cleric if he's gonna be alright. A small, just warm flame appears in them. Got to rub it to his lips. This is. Uh, no, not right. Mm, uncomfy. Alright. Lick Ugh. your fucking lips, dry lip, heaven ass. Fucking. Dry lip and heaven ass. Need chapstick. Wait, so who's going to the clerics again? <laughs> I do. I guess. So arrow comes out. Um, yes, there were some parts that are untreatable. Um, you brought him earlier. I could have. We could have maybe done something about that, but at this point, he'll be fine. Although there will be some uh, issues. Mm. Yeah. Did he lose any part of him? Uh, other than that, uh, his skin cells at the mouth and some parts at the ear, but that's all we've seen. Okay. We were uh... actually going to go talk to you about that. Uh, so yeah, so some parts are actually ir irreversible. So that's yeah. it, right? There is not going to be like loss of any thumbs, losing of any like uh, foot parts. Yeah, no. Um, we're gonna be. He should. She should be fine, unless something else happens to him, which gives him the same effect. Which uh, highly unlikely. I don't even know how you got into this situation, but we touched I'm the statue. Really to have Ocean hear this. And then just yell, don't worry, Robert, I still got my dick. We're fine. <laughs> I wasn't about checking. I'm tempted. I'm tempted. Yeah, I'm tempted. Wait, I'm you're not... a guy? Varum just says, in canon. <laughs> anyway. Did you actually... Ooh, I gotta delete some stuff. <laughs> he, gotta... <laughs> he gotta clear some search histories. Quote unquote cards. They must be what the elves call oh, yeah. Yeah. But do not stop. So Ocean, uh, inside this brass uh, building, inside this brass building, um, within the mountain, you hear a, uh, like a growl, and suddenly through the doorway, this the giant direwolf <laughs> slips across the brass floor and slides towards you. This giant owl bear? Is it the yeah. direwolf or just it's a direwolf? Oh, so... Hey, buddy. Hey. I'm not dying anymore. I'm not I'm... He licks you. There. He eats you. <laughs> he, he licks you. Back. It's Trump. <laughs> he gun. Uh, enzymes kind of burn through ocean skin. <laughs> All right. So, what do you guys want to do? Ocean standing uh, now. Look over the corner. I'm pretty sure you're the one that helped. Thank you. Okay, you Hello, those, uh, people. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, uh, let me look. Nope. Uh, go, go, go. Uh, also, it's now, it's about time that we get to, uh, my objective. The mountains of Dornell. That's... I'll go there. There, actually. Real quick, um... Cleric person, what's your name, real quick? Excuse me. Uh, my name is Gyro. What is it? Ah, um, there's a being a cleric, you naturally have a pretty decent amount of like historic knowledge on things that are like divine and such, or perhaps the reverse. Uh, yes, I, have, I did like, as a sage before I was a cleric, so I understand some things. Yes, uh, he kind of hmm, so a very long time ago. We don't know if this is a bad thing or a good thing that we got, but uh, a couple, yeah, like a few weeks, a few weeks ago, it feels like a lot longer, sorry. Uh, he kind of takes out the vase real quick. This thing, it's messy. It's something, uh, don't say the words inscribed on this, if you, if, if you do see them. Uh, it's some kind of spell attached, almost always, uh, but it's 
some kind of artifact thing we found a long time ago. And we've been trying to figure out what it is. But we have the no vase? clue. Yeah, if you have any, like, historical knowledge or someone that can cast Identify, I'd appreciate it. But, like, if you ain't got nothing. Us clerics don't really study uh, this kind of magic item right. specifically, but yeah. it seems to be almost extra planar um, in making these symbols themselves. <laughs> I've, I, I've seen them somewhere, but they they don't seem to be in my recollection based on... He kind of looks at the base a little. Elvin, though, it's interesting. Yeah, Elvin, yeah. extra planar? Where do... Can I ask where you found I mean, it? Oh, I found it, actually... I found it near my house. Previously, then, there was a small... Within, within this plane. Uh, yeah, within this plane. I found it in this plane, by the uh, town of Tagram. It's pretty small. Um, there was a small cult, I'm pretty sure. Uh, a thing called Tempest Killers. They're annoying. and mm, mm, They tried to kill my town, I'm pretty sure. Uh, these things, basically. Um, that's where we found it. It was kind of resting by my house, actually. I figured they had some kind of use for it. I encountered them again a while ago. They tried to mug us for it. Didn't work out for them that well. Um, couldn't get any information, though. Uh, what else? Oh yeah, these uh, he kind of reaches back in the pack, reaches down, goes like down to his wrist, goes, oh, hold on, reaches his entire arm in. All right, wait, there, there. All right, pulls out some of the amulets. Uh, we have these as well. Um, no. well, I know what these are. These are amulets of Shar. Yeah, I don't exactly know why they are connected. As he kind of holds holds the uh base. A little bit further away, like in one arm, and then the am- one of the amulets in the other, like like. They start, yeah, they start, yeah. Okay. And he they just kind of lets it go as it flies towards it. Yeah, almost magnetic. Uh, concerning the attack. So. Um, I don't. One thing is, there's also this. Uh, Robert, Robert, you have the other one, right? The one with the star on you. Oh yeah, I'm gonna just like put it on and show it. I don't know what this one is, but it's similar. Don't know if that's so counts as sure, though. Three amulets of Char oh, activating Char. this face. It is interesting, because Char was one of the first goddesses. Mm-hmm. But beyond that, I don't understand why these things would be correlated. Yeah. Something between the planes. Uh, hmm. Well, Definitely. Hmm. Hmm. ever Can't heard really... of something uh, known as Dornak? No, uh, at least not in my studies. I see. It's some, it's some kind of sword ha- weapon thingy. Don't. We do you know been... anyone that knows his story about legendary artifacts? That's actually fair. I'd... Nearby. Okay, we'll go to that person. What's their name? Well, if you're looking for ancient weapons, well, I would say the best place to look is within Shipstead. Uh, But of course, that when it's been destroyed, currently in the process of rebuilding, I would assume that the people there are dead as well, so not the greatest Not all of them. We made sure that not all of them died. Luckily, a lot of them died. It's that some of the most, uh, well, intelligent people of the subject that I want to know are dead. Shame. Then okay. ships did. It's unfortunate. Uh, I would recommend looking around uh, the more major we'll cities. We like the artifact in instead. If you look throughout the more major cities. Hmm. Uh, well, we, we should just get the artifact since we do know its location. <sighs> now, this legendary artifact we're going to go get. Any other historical questions you have for me? Um, uh, I have one. Mentioned? Can you tell me the history of crab fishing? <sighs> oh, 
Anyway, um, not... I have question. Where am I? Yes. Yes. <sighs> anyway, thank you for your help. Uh, to my knowledge, clerical work ain't like cheap and stuff. I don't know if they've paid yet, but if you would like, I could like stay here for the day. I haven't actually allocated any of my spells. I'm a druid, in fact. Um, if you want, I could stay here for the day and heal any minor wounds and try to help. Uh, that is okay. We are full on staff with uh, healing spells. Uh, go uh, rest up. Have some fun at this uh, I harvested. <sighs> and enjoy your day. Hey, thank you. I appreciate yeah, no, it. Dog, you're welcome. You too. <sighs> You kind of... Any tips on not dying, good sir? Uh, from him or me? Uh, I'm talking to the cleric historian. He seems like he's really good at not dying. What is that? Uh, tips any tips on dying? not dying? Well, don't accept uh, pacts of evil of natures. Um... I see. So brainwashing, huh? I see you are going to resort to those tactics. I hope you have a nice religion. Goodbye. Goodbye. Immediately, um, he, the immediately he starts spitting propaganda. I'm out of there. No, 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 no. Ocean accepts eldritch knowledge in return for slowly rotting and is possibly possessed by some nature spirit. So don't do that, please, and you won't die as easily. Well, that's called Thank personal you. experience. Uh, that person was just saying ambiguous things and brainwashing people. Anyway, anyway, fucking, oh well. That sort of thinking so, is the uh, Is hey, not. Guys, I have yeah. a quest to go on. So, can we just, like, instead of spending some time here, can we go to Trico? I know a friend over there. I have a more legendary quest to go on, good sir. Well done. Yes, um, well done, well. As the English philosopher once said, well. As you, uh, <laughs> as you guys exit uh, the doorway, you notice this bright orange and yellow town in front of you, packed with people, um, stands uh, put out, with the wooden stands put out, um, and the stairway going down into the, path, into the town. So, what do you guys want to do? Looks fun, you guys. I mean, do we have the I money to pay for stay, any of that? Fun. It looks expensive. Oh, it definitely does. But, Arzer, I have enough self wisdom to say, do not go steal. I think but I'm about steal. to steal. I don't recommend I think I'm about to steal. <laughs> All right, you guys are at the uh, trail going down up uh, uh, southward towards the uh, city. Uh, after a couple of minutes, you arrive there. What do you guys want to do? Um, in front of you is a packed, absolutely packed place. Mm -hmm. um, all the markets are closed. So, so this, this place, how thing. religious is it? Pretty religious. It's a religious center of Hasla, specifically. So. I see. I... So, Varum's non-religion views are currently uh, being uh, not used, since uh, if he does, he will get hit. My Real religion art. is the bag. Can I steal something? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> Make a slot of hand. Also you know being first, first, off, first off, as we're walking down the path, Ocean has passed the cloak back to them since he doesn't need it to hide his ugly ass face mm -hmm. anymore. Can I take my house back? I'm gonna walk with Ocean. Do you mind oh, yeah. if I monologue? Robert takes your hat back. Uh, Ocean, you did regrow some of your hair, not the entire ponytail though. Unfortunately. Oh, I'm gonna just go uh, put uh, him back. I'm gonna go put the hat back. I still have hair. He doesn't. Yeah, some of his hair, just not his ponytail. Not all of it, anyways. For now. Uh, how long would you say it is? No longer a boy. What a I damn thing. 20... I rolled a twenty-nine for sleight of hand. Or are you still like? Uh, uh, 17 million money from the bank payday you music still, players. Yeah, you steal 17 million of gold. What? I didn't hear. 17, 17. gold. What did Was you say, Robert? Was there any interesting items oh, sorry, Wilson, what did you want to say? that anybody had? Uh, I was oh, just saying, like, how I... long would you think his hair is right now? 
I guess not. Sorry, um, what was that? Sorry, I can't hear you. How long yeah, is that his hair is right now? Um, like you know, Shaggy from Scooby Doo, that long, basically. Oh, uh, all right, all right, okay. Like how scoop? <laughs> like anyway, how, how much was that? They took my fucking hair. Zoink scoops. <laughs> Zoink scoop. We just killed the prime minister. Seventeen. <laughs> what, right. what, what, what are you doing, Arthur? How much gold was it again? I forgot. Yeah, the seventeen. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. What do you guys want to do? There are a lot of stuff to do around Good here. Question. How how does this place feel about undead? And would if I revealed my mask, would I be taken by the guards? Necromancy is illegal everywhere. So. Ah, but being a skeleton isn't. Six. Plus, I'm not it, even uh, a skeleton. It, I just it's look illegal. Like one. Everything with anything related to necromancy is illegal, and they will like literally destroy you if they see a skeleton. Fucking <laughs> immediately dead. <laughs> wow, this is bad. <laughs> I can't do a uh, silly ha ha gimmick of throw my uh, unmask my skull face. Okay, well. guys, um, I'm gonna be living for Traco. You guys are coming with me or not? Yeah, sure. Uh, is that is that place uh, sure. near Dornell? Is that okay. where we were supposed to be going? Uh, for me, yes. Go. Oh, yeah. Fuck it, we have a place to go, Nito. I don't have anything yeah. better to do. Traco. I need to go Traco's to Dornell. Yes. We are all easy. leaving for Traco. Where? Except me, I want to go where we're leaving for Traco first. Uh, I have a job to do over there. I have to meet some people over there. Cool. Some friends um, from the uh, new Tagriel, if you will. Robert, don't be fucking vague. It's not like we haven't killed people. Just explain. Uh, this is one of my friends. I'm gonna go see him. I have only one thing to say. I want to go to Dornell for reasons hey, known man. as fucking sword. Hey man, right, you sir. can tell me. I'll forget it in like five minutes. That is why I'm not telling you. That is why I'm telling you. Lame. Okay, so, so by, by the way, guys, you also have the quest for the right yeah. to the king. He's like, yeah. You also have that. So I'm just saying. Yeah, I, I, like I also that. have this super okay. like. Plot quest known as uh, the Sword of Dornak, uh, Dornell. Oh, uh, wait, okay. It's been, it's been in the cave for like ten thousand years, all right? It, it can wait. It days. can it can wait like a couple weeks, all right? It, uh, I don't think it will be taking that long. I'm just gonna go say hi to him. You mean stab? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have a dagger to stab it. Yes, yeah, you do. The stab is metaphor. Shush, shush. Not only. <laughs> Don't shut okay, your dry well. ass lips, bro. Shut your dry ass lips. Okay, so, <laughs> look, 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 look. Look, look. my super legendary sword. We have a number of things we need to do. Verum's got his sword. King dude gives some shit, and you gotta go to the track. How about we, we don't go need God? God? Grab that shit. Go to. The... I'm not questioning that. Let's go to Traco. Let, let fucking uh, Robert do some shit. Maybe, if we're lucky, we can find a mage there who's high enough level to uh, cast Identify on this shit, on the uh, base. There we go. We have some even more information. That's valuable. Then we can stock up on any food we need, head over to Nido, and then boom. Do whatever we uh, need to do there. Then after that, Dornak. Hey, Ocean, out of character, are you okay? Then are you sick? Um, yes. Allergies are kicking my ass right now. So right now, right now, oh. I sound like a dirty old geezer. Is especially if I try to make it worse. Do I sound like fucking sounds... sucking pebbles? Hold on. <laughs> no, you're right. not. But okay. I know who that is, uh, but no, you're not. I'm thinking, I'm thinking of this. Am I thinking of someone different? I'm thinking of someone different. It's someone. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways. So, uh, Arzor, what do you want to do? 
your with your, your fucking shit is going to be waiting for a while, dude. Sorry. Nah. With your 17 gold orders, what are you going to do? Azor is gone. She's muted. Oh, Fuck, oh, first she's muted me. Back. All right. Azor is uh, dead. Well, I killed her. I don't know. All right, Azor. What do you want to do? 17 gold. I don't know. I kind of walked into the other room. I wasn't listening. Uh, we're talking about goals. Everyone want, Everyone doesn't want to get the fucking legendary start, it seems. Yeah. I want to do that. I want to do that. Yeah, it's just useful, it's just useful for you, dude. It's just useful for you. We got, like, sword. shit to do on Trago. All right. <laughs> So we're going to get what we can, get the fuck out of there, Wait, go to Nido. Wait, oh shit, weren't we supposed to solve some political we dispute at the border? Exactly, we're going to Nido after we hit up Traco. In fact, Arza, if I unmask my face, I will instantly fucking be prosecuted, and they will instantly try to kill me in this town. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's yeah. good that we should go. Yeah, we gotta get the fuck out of that, all, 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 all these people so, look so fucking... So, so, Verm, so if you so if you take off the mask and you just see a skeleton, I mean, most people will think it's like some sort of like if it's a metal skeleton. I th I thought you meant like like an actual like white bone skeleton. Like they wouldn't. Yeah, I don't think they care. But, yeah, I don't think they would care. Like they would think okay. it's some sort of disaster for high harvest dead. So it's what I was just saying. what I was hearing is they will. I can just say the second they see me on the account of being necromancy. I yeah, mean, I can't no, just say I miss my like, robot. If you die with like a skeleton, like like holding a skeleton, or like with like a living skeleton, they will attack that. Or a guy with a skeleton, like a human skeleton. So I see. So I do not count. Right. Good. I didn't you do that. Count. Anyway. I okay, did so... not count. Okay, so Arthur, you got seventeen gold. What do you want to do? It's keep it's current, basically, or high harvest it. Hmm. These people. Alright, so what exactly is going on? Like, what are people doing? So, uh, there are stands, there are kids kind of playing uh, random games, uh, people kind of betting money and stuff. Uh, there's an. People are there's playing Super Smash Bros. for the Nintendo DS. People betting money? Yeah, so there's arm wrestling. Uh, there's a guessing game if you want to, if you want to see the, uh, if you want to play guessing games, there's also the uh, three cup game. Where you have to guess where the cup is, or sorry, where the ball is. Where the ball? Ball is life. That's where the ball is. There's so ours. There's like a dark game where you can try to hit the middle and get some money back. Yo. I have a question. Do they have one of those games where they put the rock under the cups and they spin those? Yeah, that's uh, the. Uh, Ocean is doing that shit with his twenty fucking percent, twenty wisdom. Yo, I want to try the dark game. Right. Are there so, any like fortune tellers that are taking fun of for being I'm fake? I'm the fucking ranged guy. All right, Arzor, <laughs> uh, let's start with you. You go around, you see a dart game. Uh, you get 20 darts. Um, you get there's various stones as prizes. So actually, yeah. So there's various stones as prizes. Um, in at as the grand prize, you notice a very shiny stone. Um. Ooh. The guy standing there is very really human. The guy saying there is a really human. He gives you twenty darts. Yeah, if you manage to get all twenty darts, um, you get this beautiful gem. And you notice it's very similar to Varum's original gem. You uh, can the... physically feel the desire across the screen. <laughs> like you can fucking feel the energy. Yeah. Like, you can feel the energy coming off Arzur's psyche, going like, "Hmm, yes, mine." Yeah. Okay, Arzor, go ahead and roll 20 uh, dart rolls. And by the way, you need to pay how much? You need to pay uh, 3 gold to get in. Alright. All right. Let me just go into equipment. I'm going to go to a fortune teller so I can make fun of them. And or scale them <laughs> the fact that they might right. know what I am. So, Arzor, here's what you're going to do. You are going to keep rolling it. Or actually, you can ju just roll and chat. That would be better. Do this. Here's what you're going to do. Mm -hmm. uh, you're gonna do. 
are of attack guard and do that 20 times in check because uh D and D Beyond takes so long to roll the dice, the animated dice, and that just sucks. So you just do that. So like twenty Look times. Look in general. Look in general and copy and paste that. Twenty times. Twenty times. Yep. In rolling. And you can just find out. Hmm. Didn't do anything. Oh, update! Update your character. Update. Do update. Do that. So. Does Arzor get the rock, or does Arzor resort to stealing? Yes. All right, do All right, let's try again. That's one success. Hog. We hit it Just, once. Spam it, spam it 20 times. All right, 22. <laughs> success, yes, good. How many times is this? Three times? One. That's four. Four. This is four. That succeeds. Five. That succeeds. Five successes. Six. Six successes. Seven. That's a success. Yep. Seven. Eight. Yep. Nine. Uh, uh, She's a sharp shooter. Uh, you failed. So dude, Arzor, you jinxed you it. Point. You freaking jinxed it, dude. Did that Sorry. after. All right, well, I'm going to keep going. How many were there? 20? Uh, so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So that was 9. So you can do it 11 more times. 10. Success. 11. Success. 12. Success. 13. Ooh, 13 is my lucky number, I think. Yes, a natural one. Yes, it sees. <laughs> 14 16 16 uh, That was 15, right? Yep. Yeah. 16 And oh. nope. Sorry. Uh 18 19 and 20. All right. Uh, you get a blue rock with some, like, spring, like this uh, these white dots on it. It's very sparkly, I should say. Okay. You got two misses. Well, Only exactly... two misses, which is pretty good. I didn't exactly win, but that was pretty good. I mean, you know what they say, shoot the moon, miss the stars. All right, so. That's not what they stars, say. Yeah. <laughs> When the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's <laughs> right, so the more. You did not get the elemental gem. Oof. Oh, that was an oh, elemental yeah. gem? Holy moly. But you can try again. Hmm. Uh, I should I say... Like to, uh, I'd like to go to the part where uh, Vam harasses local fortune tellers. No, we're not doing that. It's not... No. I'm I want to do that. No. I want to do that as well. I'm not doing that. All right. Arzor, I would like to make else? fun of fortune tellers. Okay, do you want to do this? Can I try again? I would like to make fun of the fortune tellers. All right, Ocean. Uh, you want to do the <laughs> cookie? Go uh, ahead. My other deal allows me to harass old people. All right, so... <laughs> Ocean, uh, this man sits at a stand, three, uh, so three cups and a single, uh, it seems to be an acorn. Okay. Which, uh, to your perception, to your passive perception, you know, it's, it's a very similar color to the table, so. You kind of, like, see it right there. Hmm. So, what you're going to do, you're going to make a perception check, he's going to spin the table, how much do you want to bet? Which we want to bet. Yeah. Let's see. I still have a fair your... amount of gold, and this is the ideal. Hmm. Ideal human body. This is He's going to bet ideal. six gold. Six Four. gold, all right. Go ahead and make a reception check. I will make a uh, sleight of hand check. Oh, no. cheating, I hear? No. You use sleight of hand to do that. It's like a thing mm -hmm. that you can use. 
Who is cheating, and where can Arzor be? Unfortunately, but you do not see the... You, for a second, you blink, and the acorn is just gone, and you pick uh, the, the, the right one, and you pick up the cup, and there's nothing under there. Yo, I want to try. Oh, go ahead. We're going to do it again? Mm-hmm. How much are you putting? I simply uh, think I want to harass fortune tellers. Okay, Ocean, how much are you betting? Uh, how much am I betting? Uh, hmm. Good question. Well, hmm. Do you think he would dislike it if I casted Enhance Ability first? Uh, if you do it stealthily, I don't think he'll care. <laughs> I think it would uh, be funny. He's gonna walk away for a bit and say, "You know, Narzor, you you have your turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go take a look." All right. He Thanks, around the place. Go behind the building. <laughs> cast enhance ability. All right, and that gives you what? Fucking. Uh, which one? I I have it. You going fucking... to have advantage on. <laughs> Astrally projects perception checks, or not perception checks, and wisdom checks. Is that eagle one? That is a perception owl. Which one is that? Eagle. It is owl's wisdom. Oh, owl. Okay, how much are you bidding? Uh, yeah, Arzor, go ahead. You the thing. Hmm. Spend Arzor's uh, college fund. Um, hmm. I don't know, like five gold. All right, we are. So if you roll a perception check, I'm rolling my set of hand check. I got a number. <laughs> How much should I add to perception? Just make, just do this. Look, look in chat. Look in chat again. Um, All check. right. Oh, I should update first. Hold on. No, you shouldn't. It's fine. It's fine. It's it's the same. Mhm. As long as nothing major changes, you don't need to update it. All right. Anyways, perception check. Did you see the thing I said? Yeah. Remove the. Uh... Right. Right. Yeah. I always forget to do that. <laughs> All right. So. If you succeed. No. I got a seventeen. So that with that twenty. Um, you you stare. And you notice him for a second. He does this like trick with the cup and spin the nut in the same cup as he spins it, um, and then tosses it to the uh, one on the right. And you just manage to see that. Yoink. And you manage to pick the right one at the end. It's the middle one. And you pick it up and you get ten, five gold, five more gold. I have acquired you... acorn. Now, Varen would like to search our since uh, bullying fortune tellers is no longer an option. I like to search Wait. for sketchy people. How much people. did I win? Sketchy people. Five. Wait, like, how much did I win again? I forgot. So if you if you five. Your five gold from before, Arzor. Mm-hmm. All right, so then you get ten gold because you doubled your earnings. All right, get your gold back and then get double that. So there you go. So twenty six right. in total now. Sweet. So, Varum is going to come back. Actually, you know what, Varum, Varum I'm not gonna, just going to waste all your time. You go, you go do that, I'll do this after. Again, thumbs up Varum that Ocean. Varum for, like, sketchy Finger behavior. Guns. And he would also like to learn more about this town's history. But mostly on sketchy behavior. Make an investigation is... as you search the town, alright? Okay, Dude, just that. fucking cheat at festival games like the rest of us. I joke, <laughs> no, I joke, I'm joking. You could. I mean, they like, 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 I'm, I'm joking. Give you that's grace and then proceed to have you throw darts again with all of them having advantage. That is a 17. Yeah, you could do that, Arzor. Or, or what yeah, you can also do. I've made an investigation check to uh, tell if there's any sketchy things in the town. Uh, 17 my minus one. It was 18 this minus one, but 17. Darts. The what? I can't hear you. You can just use invisible mage hand to throw the darts, like pretending to throw the darts, but actually the invisible mage hand. <laughs> the darts. You can do. All right, so now is that allowed? 
Yeah, they can't stop you if they don't know. <laughs> like, how would they know? Aaron, how would they know? Like 30 minutes uh, searching out for the... Uh, searching for weird people. All right? Pal, can I do that? Searching for local to... plot hooks, baby. <laughs> sure. Uh, first, we're going to go to Robert. Robert, is, or, yeah, right. Robert, do you want to do anything? No. Games. I'm good. Right, Kel, you want to do anything? I know in gambling. Yeah, I'm going always... to the uh, the arm wrestling. Arm wrestling. <laughs> All right. Wait, Let's get uh, the ball. hold on, Hell, Did you say there was an archery? There is archery. Hmm. I will think I'm about it. Trying to fix your elven skills on these non-elves, I see. All right, Kel. Let's do this. Um, there is a. Right. So, so let me get the arm wrestling. So a buff dragonborn sits there. Uh. Kind of looking for any challengers at a like table that's uh, on top of this little podium, or sorry, not a podium, this little uh, slab of wood, and then on top of it is this uh, dragon, white dragonborn. Uh, put, he has his hand on the on a table, like a very small circular table, yeah. and he sees you. Are you willing to challenge me? Yeah, I am. No. All right. Um, how much you want to bet? Uh. Five, Five gold bolts. pieces. Right. Yeah. You put this That's hand a lot on the table. hand on the That's table. Like and are you gonna put yours? Yeah. You uh, you put your hands together and let's start this. So so basically you require um, three points total to get all the way for his hand to get down to the table. Um, every time you lose the check, um, your arm you lose a point. So basically, it's a, okay. there's a three point, there's a uh, three points of, uh, there's three, uh, basically, uh, positions your hands can be, or sorry, yeah. six positions total. Um, you can be one to the right, one to the left, one, two to the mm -hmm. right, two to the left, and then, yeah. So every point you win, you move to the, you move downwards on his, on bringing yeah. his head down, and three of them, Yet uh, you win, basically. Mm -hmm. All right. So you both put your hands in. Let's make the first athletics check. All right. I got a 19 plus uh, 3. It is a 22. I got a 22 as well. All right. So the hand stands still in the center as you push. All right. Let's do this again. All right. Uh, 9 plus 3, 12. Fifteen. You move. You move his hand uh, a bit to uh, your side. All right. Let's go again. Thirteen plus three, sixteen. Ah, uh, twelve. Twelve. Uh, you move back to the original position. Okay. Uh, twenty natural twenty. Uh, twenty-three total. Fifteen. Uh, he moves you to the right. All right, let's go again. Uh, eight plus three, eleven. Fifteen. Nice. So back to the original position. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of like now sweating a bit. Uh, both of you kind of looking <laughs> at each other. Yeah. Dead center in the other. I got an eighteen, twenty-one. Fourteen. Move back to this side. Again, I got a six, uh, nine total. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. I uh, managed to push it back to original position. It's getting tense, bro. Seven. <laughs> so ten total. Fifteen. Fifteen. Back on your side. Uh, four. Seven. Seven. All right. You guys are contested at the first position on your side. Uh, I got another seven. So ten total. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Uh, two points towards your side. Two positions in. Mm. Final four. I got a two. So. 24. Uh, 24. <laughs> yeah, easily. 24. 24. <laughs> Hell, you easily slam its hand down into the table, cracking it. All right. Ten gold pieces for you. Big boy. All right. Now imagine if you had bull strength, so you had advantage on all that, and just <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Oh, <laughs> man. Yeah. 
<laughs> fucking enhance ability means would you like to win? Period. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, we are back to you, right? So Enhance uh, ability is like, I am you, but stronger. How much do you want to bet, Ocean? <laughs> um, hmm. He's going to bet 10 gold this time. Right. Um, make your perception check. All right. With advantage, of course. All right, one second. Nice. Bop, bop, bop. Bop. Bop, bop, bop. Bop. That's at 23 on that one. Well, I got a very low number, so uh, his sleight of hand, he kind of fumbles a bit, and you manage to make out where the air corn is the last second, easily enough. Uh, you're, and then, bam, you point to it, you pick up the cup, you get 20 gold pieces. Nice. Hey, nice. He's going to go for one more time, betting that 20 he just got. All right. Do not fall. And you got another low number. What did you get on... What's your, what's your, what's your bonus? Plus five. Yeah, you automatically win if it's a plus five. I got a five. Actually, wait, no, his side of it is also a part of him. Yeah, okay, whatever. Twelve. Yeah, you win. Hey, nice. Nice. So you have 40 gold. I'm, I'm beginning to pay back what I've got. Eight. So let's see. I have, let's see, I lost that six. So overall, I have gained how much gold? <laughs> So you got 30 gold total from this. Uh, cool. All right. I'm sorry, you said you wanted to do the dark game again? Yeah. All right. This time with the um, special tactic. Uh, <laughs> uh, then you don't really need to roll because you're not actually you're not actually uh aim, you're not actually throwing it. Um yeah, so easily enough you just kind of so the guy kind of watches as the um as the as like this as the dark kind of goes slower than normal as he throws the mage to you you see the mage hand um spectrally grab so as you throw it the mage hand uh mm -hmm. instead, of, instead of throwing it the mage hand grabs the tip right where you left off and brings it all the way to the dark into sorry into the uh target 20 times the, the guy there is amazed like how wow that's cool. Well, you know what they say. With great skill, you can go far, but with illusion, you can go farther. The bar, the board never you. existed, Arzur. That isn't he what they say. I know that. Gem, Arzur. Arzur, he gives you a very shiny um, blue gem. Pog, Pog in the chat. Pog in the chat. Hey, nice. Like, Ocean gives it a look over to see if it's actually the same gem or it just looks shiny. Um, Pop in the chat. So, Excuse yeah, me, who look, said look you look can touch my prize? Hmm. Not bad. You are right. breathing on it. Holds up gun. <laughs> uh, Verum, I'll say this is uh, this has been 30 minutes, so now Verum... Um, Looking for weird people, you find a person in an alley selling um, these strange plants. Um, inside what seems to be uh, fungi of sorts. So, what yeah. kind of gem is it? Should I add it to my inventory? Well, check out this fungi house. Hmm. You in the metal armor? You want some? He puts out this bag with some uh, what seems to be. Oh shit! You got drugs, dude. <laughs> I'm just gonna like grab my mask and just like remove it a little bit revealing the hollow empty skeletal like eyes and I just put the mask back on and I'm gonna just say and I Verum is just going to say I don't really need anything right now I'm just keeping an eye out for any suspicious behavior but would you mind telling me what you're doing here and what are, what are your wares you want some or not? Because if you want some, I'll give you. I'll, I'll sell some to you. I don't buy a product without knowing it. Well, this will take you on the wildest trip you've ever been on. As a machine, so they're I don't mushrooms, right? Psychedelics yeah, affect they're machines. Uh, are they like 
funny mushrooms that are like types of mushrooms. This is a drug dealer. Hey, this let me get dealer. some. They're they're pretty funny mushrooms. Question. No, no, no. Question. They're Wait. funny. There's autistic. There's like fucking things. You know. Do any of these mushrooms paralyze people? There are calmers. There are. Uh, like hey, Vera, where are you right now? I've had some before, and I don't think it's paralyzed me, as you see, as you look at me right now. Um, Apologies. Good question. Can I check Ocean out her eyes to see if there's anything in the side of this alley? What? How much? Ocean? How much are you asking uh, for? Did Did Ocean see him walk through this alleyway? Is the question. Like, is he? Did he? Verum, is o Did Ocean see you go in here? I'm saying Verum has been Verum around. And all you've seen is just Varim with one hand on his blade, fucking and walking around, checking places out. So, but Ocean, I'd say if you were keeping a track on him instead of Arzer, yeah, you'd see him going into the alley. Yeah, he's keeping a check on both. All right. Oh, so Ocean's fucking walking up. Peeks his head in it. Oh, hey, Varim. Okay, hold up. He's walking up. Pops what? Up behind Ocean. What kind of? Uh, okay. Okay, make a nature check. Ocean, real quick. Nature okay, you got it. Ah, fucking nature check, okay. Ooh, hey, come on, give me that shit. I got a 12. Hey, you guys, well, what you doing? I'll say, since you are a druid, you would know what these are. Um, These are actually a very pristine type of mushroom only found in, um, specifically, uh, the Feywild and the, in specific parts, very rare parts of uh, Naglor, which is a island, obviously within the ocean. Right? Mm -hmm. So th these mushrooms actually allow you for a couple seconds to see into the ethereal plane. Hmm. Interesting. So How much are you them, basically, this <laughs> right. stuff, uh, pretty good mushrooms. Not only that, but he, like crouches down, looks down. These are in really good condition. Wow. Okay, you have a good supply. Pops up behind oh. ocean. How much you asking for? Hey, pal, is there stores around? Uh, they're all closed because it's high harvest then, but yeah, there are stores around. Hmm. How much? Yeah. Well, uh, can I go collect some sticks? Okay, okay. I'll sell them to you for uh, 50 gold. How about that? What is the lethal dosage of those mushrooms? Mm -hmm. Oh, they are not hmm. legal. Everything can be lethal for enough dosage. Do you buy? Um, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, it's some pretty premium stuff. So they can be found in the Feywild in a very specific island. It's a. Uh, hmm. Let's see into like, basically the ethereal plane. So if you want to look into another dimension for a little bit, sure. So you can find them yourself if you go into the Feywild again, if you want to risk that. But that's, you know, if. Hey, dude, do you? Um, I think it's as well as sell your like, wares. Wow. This because is... <laughs> I have something that might be worth some money. Tell me, lady, how did you get these? The guy. I got it from the seller, I should say. <laughs> I don't know if you're concerned you want it or not. Hmm. Yeah, I'm personally good. To be completely honest, not really. I'm just checking out the, uh, things that I find as oddities and or dangerous to the festival, and I'm making sure that they don't be that. I say to the person... Eh, don't worry. Seeing into another place isn't that dangerous. You have to. I ask. Do you buy Never as well? A herbalist. Arzor, what did you want to say? I asked, did you bu do you buy things as well? Because I am like 25 gold pieces short. You won 25 oh, gold pieces. That's not my problem. What, are you, what do you want to trade for it? Well... I don't know if you're in the business of poison, but I have a, a couple of vials. Interesting. Uh, can I look at them? Sure, I show you a uh, vial of basic poison. He looks at them. Deal. I'll trade for that. Two vials. Sure. Hmm. For the stuff? Yes. She, he gives you the bag of uh, the mushrooms. Sure, dude. I hand over the poison. It's a trade. 
All right, and then uh, you guys all look at the bag of mushrooms, and then you look back at him, and he's just gone. Oh, okay. Bye. All right, it's a little day. bit concerning, but all right. That's not what drunk Phillips do. Have a nice day, bro. Bye. Yo, I'll see you. Hmm. All right. Uh, Van would like to uh, ask uh, this person, how do you feel about warlocks? He's already disappeared. He's already oh. gone. He's gone. <laughs> that man was a warlock to Kush himself. The so uh, good. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's continue. Uh, what do you guys want to do? Any so, games you can play? There so, are a lot. Okay, yeah. now, question. Elemental gems and the mushrooms, what are those in, like, the inventory? What do you Magic. mean? should be so so ours or the mushroom should be uh should be a custom item i don't mm-hmm. think ours would just i mean i don't know would ours or no it's an elemental gem i mean it's a blue one so similar <laughs> to them, but at the same time it seems like a very shiny rock so right i mean does anybody else know that it is yes yeah uh, I mean, she was there when we pull out the elemental, though. Like, she would know if it was safe. I mean, it's an elemental gem, but it looks pretty fucking similar. Verum, pop one of them out your eyes. Verum does the iconic Verum thing. All right, Verum thank you. Verum is Verum. He's going to take the, uh, what was used elemental gem and hold it close to the, uh, what we've just acquired. Mm-hmm. And just kind of look at them through the light. With owls, uh, with similar with... material. Yeah, so very similar material with slight variations on the formation of it because it's a rock, it can be whatever shape, right? Mm. But yeah, very similar. Yo, it's blue. Very mm. similar in makeup, which is pretty nice. Well, like... just in the alley, some people are kind of like looking at you as you're doing this. Yeah. Mm. Hey, man, yeah, it's right. a festival. Mind your business. Yeah. Well, we got a neat rock, the worst case scenario, which is pretty nice. Hey, he just kind of mm-hmm. looks at Verum. Mask is still barely open. As he goes to shut, it just slams that shit in his eye and then gets moving. Okay, okay. okay. let's go look at Robert. He might be able to help us figure out figure out what that is with Arcana. Uh, hey, pal, can I make a yep. bitch lock? Magic. With that sticks I just I think like made. Can I get a bitch lock? Oh, yeah. bitch lock. Do you know what do you know what bitch lock is? So it's just like a fucking uh, triangular. No, that's a triangular. I wish my English was better so I can explain it. So it's just like a something you uh, use it to lock doors illegally. Okay. Yeah. I'm looking at it right now. Yeah. I'm looking it up. Yeah. Okay. And you want to build one? Yes. Pretty advanced. But I'll say since you're an artificer. Let's say you take you use uh you make some carpenter's tools for an hour. You only need to make. Uh, you can artifice a shed. Right. You need you need carpenter's tools. So Robert, you're gonna need to take an hour to make the carpenter's tools, and then you can make this. I'll say. Okay. Uh, I think I have carpenter. Why? No, I don't. Uh, I can make one. Yeah, you can make one. Uh, is what I'm saying. You need to take an hour. Yeah, I'm gonna make Bobbert first. Oh wait, did I already made them though? I sure. probably yeah. okay. should because okay. Uh, then I'll just make like uh, the thing, then the thing, then the thing. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Okay, you'll spend the next hour making the um, carpenter tools. All right. Yeah. Okay. I spent two hours making the making like two wedge locks. Mm-hmm. Cool. Uh, what is uh, everyone else doing? Uh. Okay. Uh, Kel's gonna uh, hold uh, down uh, the. Uh, Ocean's gonna do fucking thing. Uh, arm game wrestling. one last time. There are uh, a lot of games. Yeah, I think I'll go for just one more in the meantime. So this as Robert's is... building his first item, so he still has like one more use of the fucking Make things before it runs fun. out. Question: Are there any people just walking around in the festival holding prizes? Oh. <laughs> just one. Make a perception check. Oh, uh, same game, Ocean, or what? <laughs> Alright, one perception check. That's a 12 at base. 12, you said? Yep, 12, which is the first roll. 
I'm back. Advantage? Oh, damn. It's advantage, it's still 12. That's the highest roll. Oh, well. Damn, I got a map one. For you, uh, I actually got a pretty low number. So, Ocean, how much did you bet? Sorry, I didn't ask that. I was just betting 10. Ten. All right, so you got uh, 20 back. Uh, yeah. All right, Arzor, any games you want to do? Oh, shit. Uh, I thought I was supposed to make a perception check. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember that. So, with that 21, you do find some people with some pretty nice prizes of gold. Any interesting items? <sighs> Not really. Some people are winning the rocks from the dark dragon, but that's kind of it. Yo, are they shiny? They're pretty shiny. Yo, I but think the... I'm about to steal. <laughs> Make a side of them. Hey. <coughs> would like to do something hey. that no, might uh, not Fuck. Oh, bless you, dude. <coughs> bless you. I'll be back. Yeah, yeah dude, yeah. get a tissue. Arzor? Yeah? What is the, uh, make a sleight of hand check to try to grab the rock. Alright, I'm posting. Uh, 30? Posting 30. and rolling? Yep, 30. Easily enough, you steal a, you steal the uh, red rock, a very, a very shiny red rock, similar to the, uh, the blue, the, uh, shiny blue rock you got originally. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So now you have three rocks total. Uh, then we're going to go harass the local priest, uh, if you allow it. Yo, shiny rocks. That's where the real shit's at. So, uh, anyone else want to play a game? So, Kel, any game? Yes. Uh, yeah. He's going to plop down uh, 100 big ones on the arm wrestling. Uh, on the arm wrestling. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. Okay. What's happened so far? They're arm wrestling for a hundred gold pieces. <laughs> oh shit! I wanted to fucking god damn it, man! I wanted to fucking cast bear strength. He could have waited. Do you do you want do you want to wait, Cal? Yeah, sure. I'll wait for him. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. He like <laughs> backs up. In backs up a bit. Fucking out, out on a site real quick. Just cast uh. What's the name of it? Yeah, casting full mm-hmm. strength on him. So now you have advantage on all strength checks. Nice. Oh, okay. All right. Now I gotta. I gotta. Okay. I was just gonna rage, which would do the now same thing. But... You could. But yeah, you can just rage. Yeah. But yeah, I already get advantage, so I don't know. It's not gonna give me a whole lot. But I mean, also at the same time, if you you lose your rage, you're not being attacked. So mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, let's do this. What? So check number one. I got a fifty-three eighteen. Harass a local paladin. Is there any local paladin? Yeah, that you, can... you got advantage. I got an eight. Well, actually, eight for the first one. And one second, we're gonna arm wrestle. 11. I got an 11. He brings yeah. me down. Okay, all right, let's go again. I got an 11 plus 3, 14. 13. I'm not <laughs> for the first one. <laughs> uh, I mean. for yeah, I it's the highest one. All right, he brings you down by two, <laughs> and I got eight plus three, 11. Uh, 25. A. First position. I mean, not original position, but first position on his end. Mm-hmm. Three. That's three. Okay. Uh, that's six. It's a 26. Right back to original position. Uh, 19. 22 total. Monk mark. 16. Fuck. Back to his uh, side. It's... Hey, pal, is there enough room in the carriage to, like, uh, lay a person in? Yeah, I mean, you can lay multiple people in there. 
No, yeah. no, like uh, horizontally. Yeah, like yeah. if it's laid down, if it lays down. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Hey, would you guys be mad if I like made a secret room in there? How? How does that work? Uh, <laughs> we just raise it a little bit up, right? Then you build then you wooden like planks, like so. Uh, you just put your hand. Uh, you make a fair point like a that we would. If we could improve that, it would probably be pretty nice. Look, Super nice uh, all we need is a wooden like wooden uh, planks, and we just like raise it a little bit, like in order right. to put a human in. So then you just like lay the planks down, and just sit down. Uh, you know, like no, normally you would, but uh, you add, yeah, but you add a fucking, uh, no, no, no you add like okay. a slide at the end, They're so you can like, out, by the way. But we're going to get back to the arm wrestling, just for a second. Oh. Mm -hmm. I got an 8, what did you get? 15. 15? Back to the original position? Yep. Uh, Natural 20, 23. 26. 9. Ooh. Nat 20. Juicy. Yeah. One position yeah. forward to your side. Uh, 11 plus 3, 14. 25. Two, two positions right on your side. If you get one more, then you win. Uh, damn it, 8 plus 3, 11. 20. You slam the hand onto the table. He kind of sighs. Oh, good job. He takes like the bucket. It just kind of empties a bit of it and puts it back. There you go, 200 gold pieces. Oh, nice. Hey. I see. All right. Making back what we lost bit by bit. <laughs> <laughs> yep, pretty much. Bacon made so pretty. And then uh, uh, Kel's going to go look for, like, uh, you know, a magic store, a weapon store, anything, you know, nearby. <laughs> all the stores are closed. Over. Oh, yeah, okay. All the stores are closed. Then never mind. All right. So, uh, you guys want to list some of the other games? Uh, there's, there's archery. archery. Uh, there's a tug of war. Robert wants to do that. I have a point of exhaustion. I shouldn't try that. Um, there's an exotic animal show if you guys want to see that. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, yes. oh hell yeah. I want to go see that too. Yeah. You guys can but go. I'm making think. Oh, it is. I don't know. So there's That's also um, there's always abuse their animals. There's also uh <laughs> animal racing if you want to see that. Uh, what the fuck? You want to race oh, sorry, animals? Sorry, you guys continue. As well. Um, uh, so oh. there's also a magic, like a puppet magic show, magic puppet show. Um, you can go to the head mage, uh, which is a labyrinth made by a minotaur. Uh, there's a lock picking contest while, yeah, while being folded, right? Um, there's a rope climbing competition. There's an ale drinking contest. There's a lottery. So anything you guys want to do, up to you. I'm I'm gonna go check out the exotic animal show. I'm getting more wild shapes, B. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, I want to see that. Yeah, Kel will go as well. Yeah. All right. So you all um, head towards the uh, center of the town where <sighs> people. And so there's time. guys with thaumaturgy kind of. Eat, um, there's a guy with thaumaturgy. Yeah, bear uh, making bacon. <laughs> All right, so there is a guy with uh, thaumaturgy yelling out. Uh, there's some animals in some cages. Um, and here's what you guys see. So you guys notice uh, in one cage is this bird-like creature um, with a saddle attached to it. It's pretty big. And let me get a picture of that. This thing stands in the middle, kind of perched. Actually, this is not in the cage. So this is not the um, but once it floats, I will send it in chat. All right, there we go. Um, so, uh, 
So this creature kind of stands there, kind of like looking around. You also notice a a baby griffin inside a cage, kind of like trying to get out. Um, I should use olive oil. There is a giant. Or sorry, not a giant. A uh, sorry. There oh, is like a, a beetle. Your camera's on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like a like a dog sized beetle. Cool. Um, there seems to be some other uh, pretty cool creatures. Uh, there is a pseudo dragon. Uh, I've heard of them before. I've heard of these before. This is so cool. Mm-hmm. Ocean, check it out. They're like um, there's a flying monkey. They're like dragons with but wings, tiny. but it's like inside a cage. So did someone say um, monkey? So I have a monkey. question. What of these am I able to add to my wild shapes? Mm-hmm. No. There is a baby owl bear. Can we buy one? Reject humanity. Return to monkey. Hey, no, no, can we buy one of those? <laughs> Are they like, sellable? Um, they you gotta ask the owners of each. You gotta ask the owner. If oh, they I'm want to the sell it, they want. Okay. Come with me. Uh, I'm building a monkey land. land. <laughs> there is a flying monkey. Uh, in fact, in a cage, there's actually a. Uh, it seems to be a reptilian creature, similar to a T-Rex, but way smaller. Check it out. It's monkey. Mm. Banana. Uh, Yo, I wish hey, we Pell, had banana. Is it has banana. been an hour? Banana. <laughs> it has not been an hour. So I'm just going to continue building them very long. There is a quackstick, which is a type of demon in the cage, as well as a leopard. And yeah, those are all the uh, strange animals. Exotic. Is there a dog show? So, yeah. Is there a dog we show? don't need to go to a dog show. We could just look at Robert's face. Okay, but yeah. There is no dog it? show, unfortunately. Well, well, I will sure share the dog show. Aw, oh, sad. Uh, I will say you can add. The leopard to your wild shape. Okay. Uh, I should say panther. I think that snow leopard. Yeah. We'll go with snow leopard. All right. Hey, Ocean. Can you okay, hear? Okay. So snow leopard is this yeah, challenge rating one. You can turn into challenge rating ones, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yo, Ocean. Can you hear the animals' thoughts? What are they Ocean, thinking? Um, you, what what CR can you turn it to? Um, let's see. It is one fourth of my level, if I remember correctly. Or it's eight. One of the I believe it is one fourth. So I can reach CR one. Should be able to reach CR one. Or one. It's one of the two. Let me check real quick. All right. See, so what's the answer? There we go. Now we have. The Are the animals story. thinking anything yeah. interesting? Hmm. Yeah, so, okay, cool. so yeah, there's pretty some there's pretty good stuff. Yeah, the highest I can get right now is actually one fourth. They're probably all just thinking about escape. a one fourth. All right, there's a little jackalope yeah. if you want to see that. Um. Okay, so you can turn into a panther. So there's there's a panther there. That's the panther. You can turn now. All right. Um. Cool. What else? Is there? What was the other one? Let's see, there was some jackal. Uh, oh, yeah. You can't turn into a flying monkey yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, not a un- dragon. A baby owl bear. Yeah. Do you want me to make a snap block for that? I can. Hmm. I've been making uh, bacon this entire time. Fair. Hmm. I'm now eating it. Yeah. Uh, if you, also the um the bug the uh giant fire beetle five e. I think that's a CR one four. We'll find out once. It is a CR zero actually. 
Okay, so you can be that if you want. Mm -hmm. All right. Is there any rats? They look pretty cool, by the way. Oh. Uh, is there a celebration of rats within this kingdom? There is not, unfortunately. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. <laughs> Please let me send a picture of all the animals. They're pretty cool. Damn, bro, I've yet to find a giant poisonous snake so I can do a fuckload of damage for no good reason. Anyway. Oh. Uh, yeah, alright, neat. I got some stuff. Oh yeah, you can also be calling Jackalope if you want. Jackalope? Yeah. He well. stinks. Yeah, it's like a rabbit with antlers. Yeah. That Black Panther is blue. Mm -hmm. Angry. Max Beak. Okay. Where I is... I one of those, actually. 19 hit points. Interesting. Yeah, uh... those. Homemade bacon is pretty good. An, that is... Fun fact. Jackalopes are actually just regular rabbits with a terrible disease. Anyway. Does it have a gun? Unfortunately not. Ocean, are you going to read the thoughts of the animals? I don't have telepathy. I do have speak with animals prepared, though. And you can use that as a uh, ritual. Yeah, I'm going to take like 10 minutes. And you kind of... Yeah, you're just going to take 10 minutes and do that. I mean, I can talk to animals too, but they don't understand me. Well, yeah. <laughs> Fair. And Mara people around me call like... me crazy. <laughs> Mara Mara to go from... That's a priest. Priest for talk animal for ten minutes. He's going to walk over to the pseudo dragon and say hi. How you doing? Hey, friend. <sighs> Hello. Wait a minute. Aren't pseudo yeah. dragons just telepathic? Yeah, they yeah. can do that. I'm pretty sure. You don't even need to do that. They just do that. I mean, so talking to them without telepathy will be like more friendly. Also, I'm pretty sure some of animals are uh, more comfortable with dragons either. So, you can talk to everything else, but it's not the city of the dragon because it's not a beast or animal, I should say. There you go. This is pseudo dragon. What else did I say there was? Um, where's the rest of my list? Flying monkey. Oh, yeah, fine. Uh, there was the baby griffin that wanted to go free. What? There was the baby griffin that wanted to get free, if I remember correctly. Yeah, I sent that in. It's the one above the demon. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys oh. are going to love this one. This is, this is what it looks like, alright? This is what it looks like. <sighs> or if you want, you can look at this. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro. <laughs> you vibing. Uh, He's just like... He is I would 1,000%, I can 1,000% Ocean gets the ability to turn into that eventually, and it's literally just him putting on a costume. <laughs> like, he turns into it, he's able to take off the mask, what the fuck did I just do? <laughs> uh, Ocean's persona. Bro. Mm. No. <laughs> there you go. I'm taking your skin, and you're gonna be happy about it. Um, there is a very cute bunny with a horn. Not like antlers, but like a horn. Oh, oh. And oh my, if you want to do that, I think that's also a, a CR zero. Hey, creature. question: Are these cages? Susceptible to lock picking. Yes. Yeah. Do not lock pick the cages. And 
least, yeah. Anyway, he's gonna walk over to the uh, baby owl bear and just crouch right. down and say, "Hey, uh, how you doing?" Oh, is it the one we killed their mother? It is it that be. one? Yeah, he, looks uh, he looks at you, and it's like kind of angry. Oh no, dude! Fuck you, dude. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. owl bear. <laughs> no, it's it's like that crowd that just comes and says, "Fuck you." Yeah. Has nobody seen that video? They are oh, very. Dude, he kind of like <laughs> curls away from her in disgust. <laughs> yeah, all right. All right. Anything else? Uh, hey. Uh, I. Do, do you want to? I. I know this. I understand. Hmm? This what? is the thing I'm talking about, guys. It's in general. It's in general? Yeah. Oh, Discord trash. Nice. Uh, yeah. That's yeah. Crossing. Fuck. Crossing. Fuck. You just crashed her. Alright, so all the animals kind of like uh people are kind of like watching them. Uh sometimes uh the owners kind of let the, them out and give them to like some children. You notice like a child like this halfling child hold the like giant uh baby griffin in its hands and it kind of scratches its face and it starts crying and then the owner takes it away and puts it in the cage. <laughs> Uh, it's a very festive place. Hmm. Interesting. I'll say. Well, I've been a fuckload of wild shapes, so that's nice. <laughs> uh. Hmm. I have my camera on oh, for a while. I have a question. So, you read their thoughts, right? A little bit. It's more like. Are they hmm. happy like this? That's a good question. Uh, what was the general consensus from any of the ones I've spoken to, which is just kind of going around? Well, Ooh. they went from being hunted by ravenous beasts to getting fed well, and yeah. pretty much luxury. <laughs> Other than the griffin, who just kind of doesn't want to be killed, but he's fine with uh, generally being around, uh, being fed and everything. Huh. So, okay. they're pretty fine. That's good. Yeah, they're relatively happy. I mean, it's either this or they're out in the wild almost dying every day. I mean, of course, some of them want to be a little bit free because flying is pretty fun. Yeah. It's flying free. So. Mm -hmm. But they're relatively happy. Well, that's good to hear, at least. Mm -hmm. A condemned building. Maybe it can change its ways. Alright, Varum, what else did you want to do? Uh, I want to go for Ras, a uh, preacher, and or a paladin. You choose. Okay. <laughs> you do that. Okay. Uh, hello. Cool, I want to do that too. Uh, okay. Hello, paladin. You want to play? Yo, paladin. Like The game goes like this. I'm going to give you two things. You're going to have to guess what I'm speaking of. But first, let me tell, say what I'm saying. These people are in a code in which they serve the good of their master while also fulfilling their own desires. If they break the code, they'll be heavily punished. Their code comes with magic with also obligations. <laughs> What am I talking about? A warlock or a paladin? Uh, the smite going through your chest when I bring my sword into what? you. What? Yeah, um, right, I don't so... recommend having a conversation. That was 
a pretty bad insult, dude. Let me try. I'm not insulting him. He's gonna just have to tell which one I'm talking oh. about. All right. Well, Arthur, you actually yes. Yeah, so there was the black picking contest. If you want to do that, Arthur. Hmm. So did I get attacked? I wonder. No, he literally yeah, he vaguely yeah. threatened you. Vaguely threatened yeah. me. They can't fight with words, they fight with swords. I agree with that. Yep. They don't yes. fight with Fuck words that, or swords, you know they fight be. with being cringe. Alright, um... Let me switch back to my computer. Mm -hmm. Alright, so... <laughs> There they so you know, like to repeat the list of stuff you guys can do right now. Same. Uh, sure. Around what time is it now? What? what are... Uh, never mind. What time is it for the game right now? So, I'll say like 1 p.m. right now. Oh, damn. All right. In that case, fucking Ocean is going to, uh, Take a take his hand at the uh fucking hedge maze. Okay. Um right. So uh there is a minotaur, a female minotaur, standing outside the hedge maze at the very uh west side of town near the forest. She she looks at you. Oh, interesting. Oh yeah. The druid. Well, every, so, uh, once you enter into my library, there is a, a bit of a treat in the center, and my, you know, my son, my son, uh, travels around the hedge maze, patrolling, helping anyone uh, with that who gets lost. Uh, I charge... One gold piece, and I donate the money to a charity. Oh, so, that's good. In that case, he uh, takes out two and hands them both to her. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Oh, Alright, enjoy your time. Of course. Alright, go ahead and take it. Huh? What is that? Oh, he's uh, taking a step in now and adventuring through after giving her to like two gold pieces. Alright, go ahead and take a. Intelligence save. Not only that, by the way, but using his uh, feature uh, from the Outlander, where he memorizes any kind of terrain he goes through. He knows I'll, give his... you I'll give you advantage. I'll give you advantage. Intelligence check. Intelligence check. Sadness on that. All right. <laughs> it ain't survival. We be we be in danger, boys. <laughs> you have advantage. <laughs> That's a nat 20? Natural 20. 20 total? Uh, it is 19 total, but it is a nat 20. All right, nice. Um, easily enough, you step through the maze, memorize everything. Um, walking through, I will say, during this time, uh, someone else, if someone else wants to do something during it while he looks through the maze. Anything? Anyone wants to do any games? Anything. Arzor, Kel. There. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Don't Bless do that. You, you don't. Bless you. Bless you, dude. You don't. don't keep doing that. You'll be doing it all day. Anyway. Bless you. Fuck. <laughs> um. Sorry. So, like. So. Yeah. Are there anything you want to do? Want to do a locking pick, lock picking contest? Yeah, dude. All right. Um, so there is a three difficulties: uh, easy, medium, or sorry, one, two, three, four difficulties. There's uh, easy, medium, hard, and then the hardest lock. Each one different variety of uh, lock picking and different. You got to put uh, mm -hmm. specific amounts of money in. So, uh, which one do you want to do? It's a thief's tool check, by the way. 
It's a what? what? Proficiency. Yeah. So it's dexterity plus proficiency for you. Hmm. And I am proficient in the thieves' tools, naturally. You are. You are. So. Yeah. Hmm. What do the difficulties mean again? So easy is two gold pieces. Or sorry, five uh, silver pieces, but you get two gold pieces back. Uh, medium is... Let's see. Uh, where is it? Or sorry, sorry. Never mind. Um, easy is five silver pieces. You get ten silver pieces back. Medium, you get uh, you give you pay one gold piece. You get twelve back if you succeed. Hard. Let me make sure this is right. Yep. Yeah. So hard is ten gold pieces. Sixteen gold pieces back, and then. For the hardest lock, uh, you pay 25 gold pieces and then get 100 gold pieces back. Oh, so if I did the hardest one, then I would only have one gold piece left if I lost. Hmm. Is that a risk I'm willing to take? Hmm. I mean, theoretically, you could wait. Solution's done to do that one, and then he can give you a bonus on it, or you can just go for something. Well, like, whatever the fuck now. I ain't gonna stop you. Hmm. How long before Ocean gets back? Eh. An amount of time. Huh? You got a natural 20. So, not that long. I'm speed running this hedge maze. I guess I'll, like hang around the lock picking game just kind of waiting knowingly right. oh, anything you do? <clears throat> um no not really just gonna sort of follow people around follow the group around okay, uh, okay. So, then we'll say ocean you make it to the end of the hedge mage and robert uh you make it to build your two uh, also what was the center, by the way yeah the center so ocean at, at, at when you get to the center there is a a beautiful marble pedestal, and in the center is a plate of pastries. Um, good with what seems to be what seems to be cream and maybe some jams. So, pretty good. Nice. All right. Hell yeah. <laughs> He's. Hmm. I'd like to cast commune. One. one. We'll just take one. You take one. Tastes really good. Like, extremely good. Uh, Alright. And since you memorize yeah, your man. terrain easily enough, you, you can leave. Yes. I'd like to cast commute. <laughs> Alright. Well, Ocean, you leave the hedge mage. Uh, the the minotaur looks over. I hope you enjoyed your time. I did. I was there. We've had enough. I believe we've had our fair share of carnival time. So, Varum is gonna prepare the cart to get uh going. That's fair. Yes. Wait, Ocean, do you want to do one more game? Uh, depends on what it is. Okay, so. If you can if you can enhance my lock pick, lock picking ability or whatever, there's a contest. And then if I bet twenty five gold pieces, I could get like a hundred back. <laughs> Good. Sure, whatever. Uh what do you need to lock pick? Dexterity? I think it's I think it's it's perfect. Perfect. All right. In that case, you are blessed with Cat's Grace. Real quick. <laughs> you now have advantage on all dexterity checks and cannot take damage from falling 20 feet or less.
Oh, shit. Oh, how, do I, how do I do that? Right? It should, be, it should be check, check. Oh, teams. Hmm, what's in there? So just roll, what's your dexterity? Hmm. Arzor? Let me, Jeez. let me look. Um, it is 18. Be quiet though. Do. <laughs> All right. So, uh, Arzor, what is your dexterity? Um, eighteen. Okay, just... No, I mean, okay. So that's a four, right? Plus four. So, what's yeah. your proficiency? Proficiency. What's your proficiency? Thieves tools. No, just what's your proficiency? Proficiency bonus at her level would be plus two. And then plus the bonuses from that. Okay, yeah, it is a plus two. So six total. So just roll a d20 plus six. With advantage. Okay. I'm going to do that in rolling. So roll twice, take the bigger number. Plus Mm -hmm. six is, is... Or, yeah. 17. 17. That is a... Oh, that is a 19. 19. Oh. Unfortunately, Arzor, you can't get this lock on open. What the fuck? Damn, what is, what, what uh, would it take that 20? Okay, it would have taken it 25. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay, fair. Sorry. All right. If you have proficiency in Thieves Tools, you would have gotten it. I do. You do? You would have had it. You're not proficient. She is a rogue! Expertise. Expertise. She is rogue! If you had expertise I... in, in Thieves Tools, then you would have maybe gotten it. Ben and Chance, anyways. All right. Fuck it. You don't manage to Motion be locked. Angry. Put down another like 25. Go again. Make Dude, I only have checks. one gold piece left. Huh? You placed down 25, so. Arzor, go ahead and make two more checks. For with proficiency. Checks for what? So, roll d 22 d 20s Do the same thing. Mm-hmm. So you got to get a 19 or a uh, 20. Natural 20 or a natural 19. One of those. Ooh, yes. very close. Very close. Come on. And Take my luck. You place the lock <laughs> pick in the... Okay, we'll say... Okay, we'll say... Oh, uh... see well, actually, no, they got a 19 on that roll. So, yeah. Whatever, whatever. I'll say, I'll say. Even though that's technically two different rolls, but that's okay. Whatever. Yeah. Nineteen with advantage. Better roll enough. You, you put the lock. You put the pick in. You put the pick in, and suddenly. Hey guys, I gotta go. I gotta. I I have to do. Uh, oh, sorry. bye, dude. See you guys. Have a good one. All right. Good night. See you. <laughs> Arthur, you place the pick inside. You hear the three clicks. And then mm-hmm. three more. Final one. Without breaking it. And the lock opens. Everyone huh? seems so surprised at this. Wait, Everyone seems like so surprised to open this. And they they get it. There are two elven women there, just give you the hundred gold the hundred gold pieces. Like, wow, like it's it's really hard to do that. Wait, what the fuck? I thought I failed. Arzor, you did something. Nah, he got a second try here. 
And because the first roll you got was a 15. Oh, 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 I see. Okay, never mind. I'm dumb. Anyway, yeah. You did I mean, I had no idea what happened, but I'm rolling with it, so Pog. You did that is Poggers. Alright, so you guys got 50 gold pieces back. Okay. How much? I'm taking How many? 25 out of this so and putting that back. 100 gold pieces. So Andre gets 75 gold pieces. Huh? Yeah, you you uh got you have uh seventy five gold pieces now. Uh, yeah, dude. Or seventy five uh, more. And I have seventy six total. Okay, so all right. Anything else you guys want to do? Let's see. I'll list everything and some more that you haven't done. There's an oh. elder game contest. There's a lottery. A guessing game. If you guys want to roll some dice. Uh. Animal races, if you want to bet on some animals. I forgot oh. again. Forgot what? How much it was. So you, now you have 76 total arms. 76 gold total. Know. I am thinking, how about we head over to the animal races, I'm gonna ask how each of them is feeling, and then take a look at how they're fucking feeling. Wait, wasn't this supposed to be the last game? Yeah. Varum? What say you? No. Yeah, report. So, um, Ocean, uh, you you want to ask how they feel. So, there's... So, everyone... So, there's... Uh, every, so, everyone kind of, like, has their own animal. And they just kind of, like, <laughs> toss them and they just start running, right? And basically, people bet on that, right? So, um, these three owners... Uh, there's there's a half orc which has this beat up dog basically, and it's not feeling too good, but it's racing. It's racing pretty fast actually. Um, a mastiff, nice. I should say. Uh, one one of them has like a chicken. Uh, this uh, this human has like a chicken that just runs really fast. And apparently, we have like this um, a blink dog actually. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to use uh, Yeah. Go your uh, moon amulet starts glowing a bit. He's going to actually take it out real quick. Uh, uh, one second. All right. Yeah. Got any problem? Yeah. Archer turns the light off this time. Nice. <laughs> what is this? Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. You got it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. Great. Anyway. So, yeah. Okay, so... Let's see. Uh... Hmm. So yeah, he's going to like look at the honor real quick. Um, well, apologies, just one second. I promise you nothing bad's gonna happen. I'm a druid, you got my word. He's going to take out the moon amulet and kind of hold it close to the blink dog. After, of course, as he's walking up to this place in the first place he had been casting out. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, off of the animals. So, yeah. Your, your mind starts understanding the magics behind such creatures. Not in a way that you can wild chip into it yet, but understanding, yeah, it's, at least. It's, it's a beginning. It's a foundation. It's a beginning. Okay. okay. Thank you. Apologies. Seems like he's going to take a look out and just crouch out and talk to him. Well, how are you feeling today, bud? Think you're going to win? Hmm? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Okay. And I'm going to... Uh, hmm. I'm going to take a look at him with perception. And t- just take a look at all of them with perception and see which one seems... To be in the best form for it. Well, uh, go ahead and make a reception check. Yep. All right, dice are real weird, but I got a twenty-three. Twenty-three. Um. So. Uh, 
I think the best, maybe the blunt dog would actually be the best one. The chicken is not a quad, quadruped, so he probably can't run as fast as, say, a dog, the two dogs. So the blunt dog is the not beat up dog. So, I'll, yeah. Okay. Well, in that case, I'm going to bet on you, little buddy. And let's see, he's going to bet. Hmm. Well, you get your golden what's back, so I want to make like 50. 50? Hmm. Mm, yeah. Okay. Let's make some points. 50. He's going to place that down. Yeah, okay. All right, and the race starts. Um, the dogs start running. Uh, the chicken is actually falling a bit behind, uh, but then uh, it manages to catch up to the blink dog, but then the roughed up mastiff starts slowing down, kind of like a bit sluggish. The chicken and the blink dog are like neck and neck at the end, and then suddenly the blink dog jumps and then tell blinks uh, a couple feet ahead of him. I believe in you! And wins. So good job, both. <laughs> yeah! Mm -hmm. Nice. I got 50 out of that. Sick. Yep. My debts are slowly be becoming close to being paid. Nice. Alright. Anything else right. anyone wants to do? Uh, oh, there's, there's, an there uh, there's an archery contest. There is an archery contest. If Arzor wants to do that, I can't enhance anyone anymore, but... Sure, man, I got a, I got a short bow. Sure, go ahead. Take right. your jacket. So yes, there's three targets. So, Arthur, there's three targets. You hit all three of them. Actually, but no, never mind. I thought that speak with animals was concentration. It's not. You'll have uh, mm -hmm. bonuses on dexterity throw, dexterity checks. Hmm. All right, nice, Arthur. So, so if you get, uh, if you're able to hit the center of every single, all three targets, uh, you get some gold back. Specifically, mm -hmm. you pay you pay three gold to get in. Uh, you get ten mm -hmm. gold back. Sure. So go ahead and uh, roll three d three uh, attacks with your short bow. If you go into uh, actions on D and D Beyond, you can just tap the attack button three times, mm -hmm. or um six times in this case because you also got the pink, but you only be able to see every three at a time. Just you know, mm -hmm. unless we don't count uh, dexterity checks as attacks, or rather attacks as dexterity checks, which is fair. They do but because Tom Hanks used dexterity for. Is most. this to hit or for damage? Just to hit. Is this to hit? All right. I'd recommend rolling it in rolling because you can just see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can right. see them all. So you can just do this, Arzor. Uh, <laughs> Bless you. Ow. You good? No. All right. Anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. So just copy and paste that. Mhm. Mm and then select one. And just keep doing that. This time, it's this time. Put this actually. But. Uh... I've been gone for a while. Yeah. Mm. No, I'm dying. Well. Again. Yeah. All right, you got it. All right, so we got to do this six times, Arzor. Six. So that's the first two. You managed to succeed on hitting the center. Second one does not actually. Wait, third. Yeah, you do not manage to hit the center. Sorry. Uh, third one. Uh, you do manage to hit the, uh, not too close to the center, maybe in between the center and the edge. Go ahead, one more. Sure. Uh, sorry, two more, because of the third target. And yeah, okay, you're good. You're good, Arthur. You hit the center. Pog? You hit the center of two of them, the middle of the, uh, of the other one. 
and you win a stuffed owl bear. Oh. Fucking gas. <laughs> he pulls out she pulls out like this uh this very fine leather uh not leather, sorry. Like this I cotton. didn't know they had prizes. She, cool. she, gives, she gives them to you. You can either take that or you can take uh, ten gold pieces. I want plushy. All right. She gives you the stuffed uh, owl bear. All right. <laughs> what do you guys want to do? Uh, I'd like to prepare ourselves to leave so we can continue doing our thing. Fuck it, I'm pretty good for the day. It's like, what, 2 p.m., 3 p.m.? Yeah, let's go. It's been a long while. 2 p.m.? Yeah, it's 2 p.m. Anything else anyone wants to do? Uh, no. No, I don't think so. The shops ain't working, so. If anyone pops out of the woodwork saying they want to do something, I will say no. On the next Everyone time. Everyone gets back into the cart. Uh, Barum starts leading it through the rough crowd. Uh, Norris just sometimes gets spooked a bit from the crowd. And people like yelling and children yelling. But you do manage to get through the crowd. Um, oh, you kind of notice in the corner of your eye, you notice the uh, exotic animals. You notice all the other games that you've played. And yeah. Yeah, as we can get closer to the edge of town. Definitely. All right, I think that's... Dude, stop out there. This okay. bad boy is going inside of my back. Nice. Right, I think that's where we're going to end here.